Do you know how hard it is to get rid of a woman who actually likes you? Who actually respects you, actually loves you? Do you know how hard it is to get rid of that woman? Yeah. Hey, when it come to dating, ain't no holding back. Here to give the game, no cap, so you know the facts. Uh, Steve the Dean, Mr. Lucario, time to show him how it go. Ain't no playing around, get it poppin', yo. April MC in the chat, you know she gon' hold it down. It's the dopest show around, didn't know you know it now. We teaching games, yeah, this is a movement. No need to delay, homie, you gon' have to tune in. Let's go. You don't need to lie. You don't need tricks, pickup lines, and stupid-ass gimmicks. It's weak and shows you think more like a woman than a man. This program will help you get over inferiority, shyness, and lack of self-confidence and feelings of worthlessness. So, if you're ready to change your life and reach your dreams and become the man you want to be, this is the show for you. Yeah, we here, we here, we here. What's poppin'? What's good? What's good? Yes, sir. Hey, what's up, everybody? Shout out to everybody listening, man. What's happening to everybody? What's happening? How y'all doing, man? Shout out to everybody in the chat room. Guys, y'all want to call in. Uh, y'all have the number 833-859-8744. There's no question that we can't answer when it comes to game, women, dating, sex, and game. Uh, also, guys, if you have a question, please put a cue in the chat, and we will grab your questions. We'll pop it in, and there are no questions. Go ahead and ask. We got y'all covered. Lucario, what's up, man? I'm How's chilling. It, man? I'm chilling, man. Chilling, you know, just doing my thing, making it happen, living life, and all that other good shit, oh, man. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to everybody in the chat, man. You man. Know? man. Shout out to everybody. Hey, Lucario, man, we, we, I guess we hear it's springtime. I mean, I guess it's, is it springtime it's, now? It seems like it. It's almost here, but you know, it ain't officially, officially okay. until, until it's warm all week. You feel what I'm saying? But today is nice, though. Today's nice outside. Right? The ladies are shedding their skin, gentlemen. The ladies are shedding their skin, gentlemen. It's the time, guys. Y'all got to step up. Y'all had all winter to get this right. Y'all got to step up because. Right around the corner is summer. And mm -hmm. I, oh, come on, man. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and grab the first reaction video we have. Guys, if you have a question, go ahead and put a cue. We got some covers. So let's get it. Let's see. Oh, I got so many of them. Uh, let's go with this one first. We'll just grab from the thing. Here we go. This is here we go. All right. No, it messes up the first time. And maybe not. I'm not You're using I'm dating. Men. You're I'm using getting men. to know. No, You're I'm not. Excuse men. me. Hold on. I'm getting to know men and I'm getting to know what I like and what I don't like. So you ever use a dude for some food? Yes or no? And be honest. Yeah. All right, then. So you're using but men. But I don't need to go out to dinner. Yeah, the ones you date. <laughs> the ones you pick don't even have to take your ass out to dinner. They can pull up in some bad. With some bullshit and some flip flops and wear your ass out. You're using the men that you don't like. And if you, you do not like them, do not go out to eat with them. Okay. Do you ladies know what date means? It means dick at the end. No. Yes, not. that's what date. That's what date means. No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> if she won't fuck with you without you spending money, don't mm -hmm. fuck with her. Ain't no uh -huh. man should be used for no food. Yo, these niggas be mad. God damn. They be tight, bro. Like, yeah, this nigga is, this nigga is mad, bro. I'm like, what the fuck? So, so this is this the funny part. So he's saying, yo, you using men uh, that you don't like for, for dates, right? Yes. Which is true, but it don't matter because check this out. The reason why it don't matter is because those guys went on the date. Like that. No, like, so basically what I'm saying is this, nobody went into their houses grabbed them up by gunpoint and said, hey, you got to go date this woman. Those guys went on a date because they thought they was going to get sex. Just like he said, dick at the end. He's like, well, I want to get some 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 pussy. So they thought they were entitled pussy because they taken a chick out on the date. And the problem with guys with this sort of logic is this, right? By him saying, hey, don't fuck with guys that you aren't attracted to and you're using he could, they could say the same thing to guys and say, well, listen, don't fuck girls you don't want to marry. Don't fuck women that you don't want to be in a relationship with. But niggas ain't going to do that. They're like, listen, I'm just trying to fuck, right? So she's just trying to get her rocks off 
uh, emotionally by having niggas take her out, having niggas spend time with her, talk to her on the phone. So it's the same, it's basically the same shit. But these guys, they're mad and they're pissed off and they're upset because they're the guys that's getting used. It's, it's crazy. Well, these guys, I mean, okay, they're playing. All right, so they're trying to manipulate women. They're trying to lie to women. They're trying to deceive women. And it's not like the women are saying, take me out. Right. So you're asking her to go out with you, knowing she's not interested in you. Exactly. And Crazy how they can't read the wall, Lucario. Gentlemen, y'all know when a woman is not interested in you. You mm. know that shit. But right. Yet, but yet, you want to be the date police? Mm-hmm. You want to tell women that they're not allowed to go around and have... Wait, let me ask y'all guys a question. So let me ask you Guys, so if the world was reversed, we were in this bizarre world, and every woman that you know across the board said let me take you out to eat Mm -hmm. let me let me let me feed you are you going to say no to that right that i i I, it just doesn't it just doesn't make any sense but hold on wait 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 wait, hold on what does this even mean are you jealous of my fly style what are you talking about what are you fucking (laughs) talking about dog you have so many problems with women what the fuck are you talking about dude (laughs) come on man you got you the one you the worst one in here you you don't even know how to talk to women. So what are you talking about, dog? Come on, man. That's funny. Oh, come on, man. Anyway, back to that. So it's to me, Lucario, it's just a thing that they're mad. See what they're mad at? They're mad that motherfuckers like you and I don't have to take women out to dinner. Right. If, if we if we go out to eat, it's because we want the company of a woman. Mm-hmm. We're, not, we're not taking them out for sex or anything like that. So mm-hmm. They're mad because they feel like, you know what, I've got to take you out, but it's not fair. It's not fair. Why don't you tell me from the get-go if you don't? And you, and you know what? You know what's so crazy, Lucar, real quick, that a lot of these guys, they beg women. The women say, I'm not interested in you. I don't want to go. Oh, come on, give me a chance. Come right. On. <laughs> I'm sorry, you on that, man. Exactly. And, and you know what's funny is that so the, the the guys are mad because the girls are are using them for the dates. The re, but this this is the this is why they're really mad. They're really mad because they don't have enough game to know that the girl don't like them. That's really the problem. So so we're saying, listen, you should know. Why are you going out with a girl that don't like you? But the problem is they don't know because they ain't got no game. So they're hoping that this girl is interested in them. So they're like, maybe if I take her out to a steak dinner, she'll she'll like me. Or maybe she does like me and I'm going to take her out to a steak dinner. But because these guys don't have game, they don't realize when they're getting used. So they're mad when they get used because they're hoping that the woman likes them. But see, this is why we tell y'all guys, y'all need to have game because you have if you have game, you can recognize women who do like you versus women who don't. And a lot of these dudes, you can, you can hear it in his voice. He's mad as fuck. He's like, yo, how are you going to do that? You're using guys and this is you. Dick means date at the end and blah, 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 or dick at the end or whatever. And it's like, bro, you I can hear in your voice you frustrated. Well, mm-hmm. wait, wait, wait. Why don't you tell us how they foul? Mm-hmm. Rekka, call up, call up, Rekka. Rekka. Call up. If you, if you make this, if you make this statement, this is uh this is crazy. Um, mm-hmm. if they're foul, let us know. But if you don't mess with women, who's you who you saying we should fucking mess with, dog? There's something's not right here. You're saying don't mess with him, then mess with who? So, Rekka, please call in, sir, because we, we we you need help. And women are not foul. Most of you, you are foul. Rekka, come on, Rekka. Come, I, hope, I hope he calls in. But, you know, most It don't make no sense, though, because he's like, bro, a woman can't do nothing unless you say so. So, how is she no, foul? We, we do. Call, no, we want you to call. No, yes, honestly. Call up, please. Call we, up. We, listen, listen, we, 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 no, no. No, it's not all love because you have a false sense of reality that you need help with, dog. Because if we, I'm asking you, or call in and let us know what's so foul about women. And I promise you, after we get off that phone call, you'll realize there's nothing foul about women. I mean, there's nothing at all. But we'll grab this question. Hopefully, you call in. You're you- with their kids 
or uh, on the phone. Yeah, you can do that. I've approached yeah. me what, what, on the phone and all. It's it, it's the same shit. Y'all y'all just <laughs> yeah. I don't understand. Okay, AM. If you want to talk to a woman, just go up and talk to her. What? what why do y'all look at the circumstance to stop you from doing something? Or is that the excuse you want to use not to talk to women? Look, what do you what say you on this, man? All right. Yeah. Listen, man, a shout out to Eddie Fuse. I remember uh, uh, me and Eddie Fuse used to hang out in the city and he approached uh, a chick while she was with her parents and her whole, like, their I, I, whole family. Yes, yes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and he all that I was like, you know, he said, what up to the, to the pops and everything. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> You know what I mean? So it's, it's just, you got to be brave enough and be bold enough to be like, yo, this is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm not scared of none of that shit. I'm going to just go through and, and get that shit cracking. You know what I'm saying? I, I was, I was being, I, I was always doing that as a bus boy when I was in high school at, mm -hmm. um, at, uh, Red Lobster. Uh, mm -hmm. that, that's, yeah, I used to, I used to talk to women all the time at Red Lobster like that. So right. it, it's, it's amazing that, uh, uh, y'all guys are always making excuses for uh, women. But guys, if you have a question, go ahead and put a cue. Let's get to the next video. Guys, you had a question or call in. We got y'all covered, guys. Uh, let's see here. Let's grab this one right here. Here we go. Girls, they end up with these toxic boys. Maybe it's from when they were in high school. And they oh, my God. Stop right there. <laughs> that's, that's my dude, King Richards. <laughs> wait, wait a second. Lucario. Lucario. Man, we gotta stop. Right hey, what, do you, what do you say? Wait, we go out and start it over. Listen to this shit. Listen to this. Shit. Put that fucking coffee down. Listen to this shit. <laughs> Check this out. Check this out. Listen. A lot of these girls, they end up with these toxic boys. Maybe it's from when they were in high school and then maybe in college and uni because of one of those superficial things. And then they get, they, they, they uh, take on a lot of baggage. See? Wait, 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 This, this is, this is what. I'm shocked. Okay. <laughs> Why do women want women don't want nice? Women don't want soft. <laughs> you know, it, 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 shout out to my dude King Riches. But this is the thing. So he said that they want the toxin guys. And, and guys, this is what you gotta understand. I always say this. It's so simple. If y'all understand what I'm about to say, everything will make sense to you. Listen. Y'all do this in your everyday life. It's about what's attractive. Okay. If I told most people, let's say if most people, a person's hungry, most people are hungry. You say, Hey, listen, you got a choice between two things. You got pizza and you got a salad, right? Most motherfuckers are going to choose the pizza. Why? Because the pizza is more attractive than the salad. You see what I'm saying? Even though salad technically might be good for you. Pizza is more attractive. It tastes better. It's fun. It's more fun. It's, it's, you know, that it's, they're attracted to the pizza. So it's the same thing when women were dealing with men, you could be a nice guy who, you know, you go to church and you're very pleasant, right? But sure that you're the salad. You understand? But the guy who has game is the pizza. They're like, damn, that, that pizza just looking so fucking good. That's how women do it. Yeah. Y'all gotta understand this shit. It's crazy. It is okay, gentlemen. It's not even bad. See, the thing is, they 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 call men bad because they're so good. Mm -hmm. they, they they call men bad because we take risks. Lucario and I always, and we're not scared, mm -hmm. and we're not uh, worried about a woman saying no, and we're not trying to fit into what a woman wants, and we don't request or seek her approval or anything like that. We're very unpredictable. We do things for ourselves, and that's why they say that we're bad. The car that is crazy, but I got some more. Let's keep going. But yeah, let's see what he's got to say. And then this is the thing: you go on through life, you may have dated one, two, three toxic guys. Oh, now I've had an epiphany. Now I want a good guy. Now I want a nice guy. But wait a second! Wait, 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 wait. The car. You know the truth of the matter is, and people don't want to say it: the nice guys are the toxic ones. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen, y'all gotta understand that. Wait, we got a call. We'll bring it 718. We'll, we'll get to this in one second. Eric code 718, sir or ma'am. What's your question? How can we help you? Yeah, how you doing, bro? Yeah, so I got a question. Wait, 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 sir. Wait, 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 wait. What's your name? Okay, big dog. My name we try to show y'all young cats and stand on your name. What's your name, brother? And speak up a little bit. Well, my name is Reek. Okay, your name is Reek. I'm from Brooklyn. Okay, can you, can you speak up a little bit so everybody can hear you, please? Oh, you hear me better now? 
Uh, can you hear me? Are you, are you on speaker or are you talking directly into your phone? You're far away. I got my headphones on. Let's okay, you take it from everybody on iPhone. Your headphones out and talks directly into your phone. Directly in the phone, big guy. All right. Hello, hello. All right, waiting on him to. Uh, Can I hear me better now? Yeah, yeah. All right, go ahead. Yeah, how can we help you, big guy? What's up? Yeah. So, all right. But so I want to know. I want to know if I'm wrong for what I did, right? So, I set up a date with this girl for mm-hmm. for Tuesday on Saturday, right? Okay. So set up on Saturday. It was for Tuesday. Mm-hmm. So I give her the details and everything on Monday. Okay. She, I sent her the address and everything. She lives in the Bronx, in Brooklyn. I sent her the address to the place. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's across the street from my house. Okay. Right. So he likes the message. Okay, cool. And then I texted her the day of. I said, good morning. I'm looking forward to see you later. Just let me know when you're getting ready. She says, okay. And then she says, well, it's raining today, and I'm going to be an hour late. Right? So can we reschedule? I was like, I was like, I was like, okay. Right? I'll reschedule it for Thursday. Less rainy day and everything. She was still an hour late. We were supposed to go get ice cream. So what I told her was, I'm getting my ice cream and I'm going home. Just meet me at the house. What? Now I didn't get her no ice cream because, like I said, she was an hour late. I felt like she didn't deserve ice cream at that point. Wait, I wait. She was coming from the Bronx. Wait, wait, Carla. How, how old are you? Twenty-five. All right. So let, let's break this down. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Like we were saying earlier, sometimes the writing is not on the. On, sometimes the writing is on the wall. Yeah. And I promise you. When you're that guy, they yeah. don't give a fuck if it's a zombie apocalypse out there. They're going to not only show up, but not only be on time, but they're going to let you know, uh, let's say you on Saturday. So if everything's going, see, I can't wait to see you on Sunday, Monday. Oh, my God. We have one more day. I can't wait to see you Tuesday. Oh, the day, oh I look for, oh, I can't wait to see you. Now I'm going to hug you and I'm going to kiss you and all this other stuff. She didn't yeah. do any of that. She, she first she said it's raining, then she said I'm going to be an hour late, and then and then to reward her bad behavior, you moved the pendulum to another day where she was late anyway, and then on top of that, you rewarded bad behavior by kissing her ass. The car would say you on that man. Yeah, I was going to say. Uh, so she told you that she was going to be an hour late because it's raining. Hold on, let me hold on. Let me read the text to you verbatim. Give me one second. Oh yeah, well yeah, well, maybe that'll help us out because. Uh, yeah, tell us what tell us what you said and what she said. Tell tell us what's going on. Okay, give me one second. Okay. Okay, so I said, "What's up? Let me know when you're getting ready." And about to leave, she said, "I'm gonna be a little bit late. Is that okay? I'm gonna be there in an hour and some change late." I said, how late? No, yeah, I said, how late? And she said, because an hour is that. Yeah, she she texts kind of funny too, but um. She so, said, because an hour is that fine instead of 5 30, we could do 6 30. I said, today the only day you're free? She said, no. You want to schedule for a less rain day? I said, okay, what other days are you free? She said, choose any day. I so, said, so, so, okay, so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, Okay, so she said she basically was like, "Oh, can we do five thirty instead of six thirty? Because this, I'm, you know, I'm gonna be an hour late. So why didn't you just?" So my question is this, right? Is why did you try to move it to another day? Because I was like, if she's gonna be late today, I might as well just not see it because I had stuff that I wanted to do later on in the day. So I was like, all right, let's just do a, a, a whole nother day since. She's not trying to travel in the rain, I guess. Okay, so so this is the thing. Why didn't you address the lateness? I addressed it in person. Wait, it's okay. Wait, wait. So okay, let's get to the date. So yeah. y- y'all y'all had the date. What did you talk about? What, what what I mean? What did you say to her? First, she was like, she seen me. She's like, you didn't get my ice cream. I was like, nah. You, I was there. You wasn't. I said five thirty, and you know, so you don't deserve no ice cream for that, All right? So we inside the house. Wait, wait. You told her you don't deserve no ice cream. Yeah. So what was the point of the date? Okay, wait, wait. 
<laughs> so, so I'm confused. So right. this was this was Thursday that she 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 met met up with you, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you told her to meet you at the ice cream spot, and then what time you told her to meet you? I told her to meet me same time, five thirty. She gets she gets here at six thirty. So she gets to the ice. So she gets to the ice cream place at six thirty. No, I switched. No, because once she wasn't there at five thirty, I said, "I." Right, I'm getting my ice cream and I'm going home. Wait, what do you mean home. you get your ice cream and go home? Wait, I'm lost. What do you did you what day did you set the time for Thursday? He said 5 30. 5 30. And she didn't show up? Until 6 30. Yeah, but you were gone by then. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And, so this, like, and, this what, and this is what I'm saying to you, caller. So what I'm saying is, right, is that because you didn't address the time situation from before. This is why she did it again. This is what I'm trying to tell you. And so what happens is, is that now you're being passive aggressive yeah. in the situation without her under, because understand this, she doesn't know coming late is an issue because you didn't say nothing. Right. Okay. So why are you upset? But why are you, what was it? What with the tantrum? <laughs> no, 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 it wasn't. <laughs> wait, 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 you're 25 years old. Wait, wait, listen to me. You're 25 years <laughs> old saying, you don't get no ice cream. Why would you say that? I didn't say it as a tantrum. It was like, <laughs> no, why though? What, what did you, what did she say to you when you told? So you told her to come to your house after that? Yeah, because I live across the street. Okay, so she came to your house, and then what happened when she got to your house? No, nah, we were just sitting there. I, I gave her some of my ice cream. Wait, you were sitting there waiting. Come on, dog. Okay, so, so what happened, though? You was at your house. What happened? Yeah, we were sitting there. We was talking. About and what? Stop. Talking about what? So he was asking me questions like, why did I want to Why did I want to see her? And what did you and say? And what did you say? I said, basically, because... I was trying to get at her from before, but she had a man and all that, right? So it was cool. I left it alone. This was months ago. And then after a while, I wasn't hanging out around because I used to hang out. What is your, okay, stop. Wait, 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 wait. Call, call, let's stop. Why yeah. did you, you could tell us, Nick. It's, it's, it's the guys now. What did you want from that woman? <laughs> oh, honestly, I just, I just wanted to fuck. Okay. If all you wanted to, okay. Shout out to K Zagging. That's a fact. That's why they got to share us. That's a fact. <laughs> so when she asked why, did you be did, were you honest with her and said, I want to fuck? I didn't now, say that. Wait, 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 wait. Because this is, just goes back in the car why the nice guys are disingenuous. Mm -hmm. Again. You just told us you wanted to fuck. She's asking you, why are you talking to her? Why didn't you just tell her because I want to fuck you? And this is why the nice guys, this is why they don't fuck with you nice guys. Y'all y'all lie. Y'all <laughs> deceive me. When you, believe, you think we're the bad ones. You're bad. <laughs> you didn't ask for what you want, call her. <laughs> so wait, so what, what happened? So what was the end of this situation, though? What happened? I mean, I ended up fucking her, but this nigga. <laughs> calling us, you wouldn't be calling us right now if you fucked her. So stop lying, man. No, 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 no I'm for real. <sighs> Will you please stop lying? So, 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 so call her. So call her. So call her. How, how long was she there? Um. Like, come on, fam! Don't lie. Come no on, how many hours, man? It's like three hours. Three. <laughs> Cue the music. Go ahead, Carl. Three, two, one. Go ahead, Carl. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my God! Stop fucking lying. So let me, so let me get this straight. You said for Tuesday she was an hour late. 
You said for Thursday she was an hour late. You bitched about that, said you get no ice cream, gave her your address. She comes over your place. She asked why you want to be with her, and you didn't tell her your exact reason. So what were you doing for the rest of the two hours and 55 minutes? <laughs> so we was talking. And about what? <laughs> No, we just like we just, oh, we just talking, we just having a conversation. Oh, wait, wait. Like, like, conversation. How did this thing turn into about. fucking it? If y'all, hey, wait, if you're just talking about butterflies and fucking knitting, how did that talk? Go, how did that get to you hitting that kitten? <laughs> All right, so basically, right, I told her that I basically told her we was we was gonna be kissing and all that from before I seen her. And I let her know basically like we're gonna get physical. When? When we was texting. Wait, 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 wait. You, you wait, wait, wait. So wait. You told her you gonna get physical. She's at your house and she's asking you why <laughs> do you wanna talk to me? And you said because in the car, let's cue it again, please. Wait, I'm sorry, car, car. Let's, cue it. let's cue it again. Three, two, one. <laughs> Hey, go, 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 go. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Ooh, oh my god. Stop fucking lying. Terrible. <laughs> Why are you lying, dog? <laughs> you for some you you said you texted her that you wanted to fuck. Y'all gonna get physical. Mm -hmm. She comes well, over there and y'all talking for like two, three hours. No, so it was more so. And I feel like, you know what the fuck I'm going to say, right? So we was talking. I'm going to say, I, I, I want to say that we was talking for like. Go ahead and say like, two and a half hours. Nah, it was more like an hour and. That's still bad, bro. What are you talking about? What are you, what are you talking about for an hour? Yeah, what the fuck are you talking about? <sighs> <laughs> We were just having a like a regular conversation. We were talking about like <laughs> she said some shit like she was talking about relationships and all that. I was like, uh, uh, and you agreed with her. I know you agreed with her. So like, wait, so I, so so she was saying like, what was your last relationship and how many you've been in? And, oh my god! So yeah. so okay. So now so now what? Tell us, walk us to the part where y'all started getting to the sex. Okay, so. She was speaking to me, but she kept getting closer. She was sitting in the chair that's in my room, and she just ended up getting closer to me, right? So mm -hmm. now she's touching me. I'm touching her. Mm -hmm. and I, had to, I brought her to sit on my lap. I was like, yo, come sit right here. She's like, why are you being so direct? I was like, that's just how I told her. I said, come sit right here. You're definitely and, direct. Oh. <laughs> right, so I'm touching on her. I'm kissing her neck. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, right? Now she's on top of me. We laying down and we kissing and everything. I'm kind of choking her and sucking her neck at the same time. And then I start taking her pants off. After that, she was laying on me for a while without her pants on. And she, she didn't want to like give me head, but she would. He was okay kissing it and and. Smacking and shit on her tongue and all that, right? But she didn't want to give me that. I don't know why. It was some weird shit. But anyway, we doing that. She's like, yo. She's like, you you teasing me right now. I want to fuck. I'm like, yo, just just keep doing what you're doing. I like what you're doing. We watching the show. What show we be watching? I think we were watching you. It was season three. Oh, oh, and... you even know the season three of you, but you can't tell us what the fuck you were talking about. Okay. You season three. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm you kidding. season I'm three. Kidding. So you were watching Netflix. So you were in you were in your bedroom watching Netflix, and she was on a chair, and you were on your bed. Yeah, because I got a chair, and it's like right next to my bed. <sighs> okay, and so so call her. <laughs> why, why why did you not smash when she was ready to smash? I honestly wanted some high. I thought she was going to do it. Baby. Wait a second. You just yeah. said in the text message you wanted to fuck. You just told us you wanted to fuck. Now all you wanted was head? No, because no, when when I when I have sex, I like getting head first because it warms me up. 
to, to do the rest of the job. <laughs> like, okay, and so and so, my question to you is, oh, why did this take an hour for this to to get to this point? Um, because obviously Tom is important to you because you you was having a hissy fit because she was an hour late. So Tom obviously yeah, no ice cream, remember? No ice cream. Important to you, right? So why 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 this took an hour? I don't think I was being as uh, oh no, you know what it was? She she wanted to I think she just wanted to speak to me and just have a conversation before anything happened because but about what? That's what I'm saying. What were y'all speaking about, bro? Because you you telling you telling us she was asking you about relationships and shit. What, what was she? Why why was she asking you about that? Or what what was the conversation about? She wanted to know if you wanted to be in a relationship or some shit. She was kind of asking me questions. She was basically asking me questions like, "Yeah, like when was your last relationship? How how long was it? How your longest relationship? Why aren't you in one now? Do you what's your type?" I'm like. I'm answering the questions because, like, what does this got to do with y'all? And I'm okay. (laughs) Okay, you're calling us because there's something went wrong. Yeah, like, what's the issue then? What's 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 the problem then? If 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 you know, I just wanted to know if if I was wrong for doing what I did that day. What did you do? You wait. What did you do that was wrong? Yeah. What do you think was wrong? Now I wanted to know because. She's my friend's girlfriend's friend. Wait, what? Wait, friend's girlfriend's friend. So what does that even matter? Yeah, what's that got to do with anything? It doesn't, right? But he's coming back to me because... Wait a second. There's more. Wait, 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 wait. What did she tell her girlfriend to where you got uh, confronted by the boyfriend? He was saying how he said, because he didn't really say anything that she said, but he was just saying, like, I'm supposed to be a man of my word and get her ice cream. I'm like, bro. Wait a second, but you... <laughs> Hold on, dog. See, yeah. you, you had to leave something out. Did you fuck? Are you sure you fucked her? Yeah. I fucked her twice. So you fucked her twice, and then all of a sudden she's complaining about you? That's why. That's why I'm not understanding. So, <laughs> you, fucked okay. her, you fucked her on Thursday, right? Yeah. Did you yeah, talk to? Yeah. When did you talk to her after that? I told her, "Text me when you get home." She said, "I'll think about it," and then she didn't text oh me. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, she said she'll think about it. <laughs> she didn't text me. Um, Damn, bro. Like, so, how, yeah. how bad was the sex? Which, yeah, like, I'll think bad. about it. God, God damn. damn. <laughs> you, the, yeah, you, you, you were bad in bed, dog. And, <laughs> and on top of that, what, I don't understand. What, then, wait, wait, when did your boy confront you? I think it was yesterday. Which was Monday. Yeah. So she went to her girlfriend complaining about you. Uh, I would assume so, yeah. But that she never got ice cream from you. I yeah, that's her. She got dick from you, but she complained that she never got ice cream from you. <laughs> yeah, because he didn't. He didn't say nothing about. Wait, call her, call her, call her. So she's with her girlfriend. Yeah, girl. I fucked him twice, but he didn't give me no ice cream, and I'm mad. Make that make sense. It don't. Honestly, I don't know how to. But but call her, call her. So uh, all right. So you're you're wondering, did you do something wrong based on her friend's boyfriend telling you this? Because I told him, because I I had put him on to you, and I put all my friends on to you, right? I don't know if they watch that as much as I do. Mm. But the thing is, he was like, I right, but I'm going to call in for you to ask you. I was like, no, 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 no. I'm going I'm to do it myself. I'm calling so I can ask you to see if I'm, if I'm wilding or not. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. What is the issue about, like, so so the issue is, is that you ain't buying ice cream. Right. You ain't getting ice cream. That's what they say to you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because that's the only thing. That's the only thing he really 
said to me that was clear about what she could be mad about. I, other than that, no, anything? there's something that you're not telling. There's, there's something, something, that's something right. because I'm like, it, it, like, okay, so when y'all, so this is what I understand. So you say you had sex with her twice, so y'all fucked once, and then you got chilled, and then fucked again. Yeah, and you didn't give her no ice cream. She had a, a spoon or two full of mine. Well, then didn't you tell her she had some ice cream? I mean that that means she had some, but she ain't want as much as I thought she it did, wanted. Something's like, not, man, dude. Something's not making sense. It sounds like because I'm like, why would she fuck you twice, then say, "I'll think about calling you." Right, meaning that, and then complain to her friend about you. Yeah, it sounds like you did something you shouldn't be doing, like forcing yourself on that woman or something you were doing, dog. <laughs> nah. Well, okay. So, so, so. Oh wait, there's a so so in here now. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> so after the date, it was. Well, let me check real quick before I say. Oh my god! <laughs> I <is> the motherfucker <laughs> here. Oh yeah. So yesterday, before he told me this, I mm. hit her up. I said, "What's up? Let's get together sometime this week. What days are you free?" Mm. He says, what you trying to do? Okay, and what'd you say? I say, get some pizza and fuck. Mm -hmm. And then what'd she say? And she says, no, thank you. I said, okay, that's cool. If you ever change your mind, let me know. Okay, so that's so, what you said to her. Okay, so now, this is the thing. This is the thing. So, let me ask you this one question. When y'all, before y'all had sex, was there any at any point, even one time, where she was like, nah, let's not do it or give you any resistance at any point? She was okay, so it, you you, have, oh you know how God. sometimes when a girl is like, You're not supposed to be getting up today, or like, and she's still doing so basically you're saying she would there was resistance right caller you fucking rapist you you what the fuck is wrong with you Yo, what's the, no 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 no, no. caller no. caller no means no call no listen do you understand no means no no i get that but it wasn't no way uh, 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 uh. no means okay <laughs> No, I'm not giving you any today. I don't want to have sex with you today. Did that? Did she not say that? She said it with a smile on no, her face. No, I didn't. Nope. Didn't nope. That's what I. That's what I was going to ask him, bro. That's what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, from the time she was there, oh up until the time y'all had sex, oh. was there any resistance? Meaning, did she say, no, we're not going to do this? Did you touch her? And she, did she move her hand away? Did she back up when you try to kiss her? Was there, basically, there needs to be have been smooth transition without any resistance at all. Did that happen, yes or no? Smooth, um, dog. Did she was... say no to your punk ass before you got in the bedroom? Watch, did she say movie? no verbally or through her body language at any point? He said no, kind of like, what do you mean, kind of? Wait, 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 what is a kind of a no? Tell me what a kind of a no is. What does that mean? Because she was like, she was saying no, but she was no, stop she, she was wait. doing things. It doesn't matter what she. Okay, listen. Let me tell you something. If a if a if a woman says no, and if she's still touching me, I'm going to escort her out the room. Out, the, out I'm going to let her go. No means go, dog. You don't. You listen. You you dis. This is why nice guys ain't shit. <laughs> Because you nice guys sit here and manipulate women. She was saying no. You know she was saying no. And you started begging her. And you know what? Now it makes sense. So when she started asking you about relationship, I bet you started saying, yeah, I want a relationship with you. Because you knew that probably the only way you get some ass, motherfucker. Yeah. So, Did you see that, caller? Come on, be honest. No, 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 no. I ain't said no, no. I didn't say that. I told her. This is what I told her. 
I said, when she asked me, what am I looking for? I told her, like, I, I'm not looking for anything specific because I, I don't know. I don't even know who you are. Like, I don't even know what's going on right now. So then all of a sudden you said all that shit, she's, she's on top of you, rubbing you and saying, no, I don't want to give you any. <laughs> No, I don't want yeah, at what point did she at what point did she say, resist or give you any of that type of energy? What did she say and what did she do? Okay, so this is why I was saying like I don't feel like it was a no because she would say it, but then she'd be like, Can I see it? What do you mean she, she would say? No, well, what did she say though? Tell us literally what she said. She was like, She's like, I'm not even supposed to be giving you some today, and I'm not fucking on the first date. Okay, and that's it. That means no. F- why? So why would you literally mental fuck with her and force her to give you sex two times when she says she doesn't do it on the first day? So call her. You said so. Call her. She said this, and then you you. She said, "Let me see your dick." Yeah, let me let me kiss your dick. Huh? huh? So so she said, "I'm not trying to fuck you on the first date," but then she said, "Let me see your dick." Yeah, like she's feeling. She's like, "Can I see that?" I was like, yeah. "No, see, okay. this is okay." So wait, and so you pulled your dick out, and then what happened? No, no, I let her do it, and she was just like, she was feeling on. She wanted to see how big it was, I guess. And then she said, "Cause I don't want to waste my time with anything small." And I was like, "Okay." And then, and then what happened after that? So then after that, she was just playing with it, and then we got the business right after that. Oh my God. So, and so basically, call her, call her, call her, call her. So, you're trying to tell me the only time she told you no or was resisting was when she said, I'm not supposed to be fucking on the first date. That's the only time. There was no time when you was kissing her on her neck. There was no time when you touched her. Every other part was smooth sailing. There was probably one other part when she was like, <laughs> You see what I'm saying? Boy, the plot thickens. You better get all this together, dog. Because police might be You better get all this together. This is what we try to tell you, man. Shit. Call this is what we try to tell you, man. Bro, so basically, so basically, this is all that happened. It's it's becoming clear now. All that happened was was that she was not a hundred and percent interested in the situation. You understand what I'm saying? And so yeah, I ended up doing stuff, but she was wishy washy. This was what's called a girl who's wishy washy, meaning she's she's with it, but she ain't. She with it, but she ain't. You understand? Mm-hmm. Those are not the type of chicks you need to fuck with. Now, mm-hmm. what happened is, yeah, I ended up doing some shit, and then later on, so so this girl, she's friends with the 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 her friend is your friend's girlfriend. Is that what you're saying? Is that like your the guy that talked yeah. to you? That's your friend. Yeah. Okay, and he's dating her friend. Yeah. Okay, and then the guy, and then your friend came to you and said, "Bro, why you ain't get her ice cream and all that other shit?" That's what you, that's what happened. I don't think it was ice cream he was asking about. Yeah, and so that, that's the only thing he was asking about. Or on, said, man. That like, he's like, "Man, come on, dude. She wants. She know you now, know she what? That was the only thing. So he oh, said man. it seemed like I was being petty, and I was like, bro." So, so, so this is what I'm saying. What did she, what did he say that she said? The only thing he said was that she said the day was like a five out of 10 and he didn't get me ice cream. That's the only thing. Five hours? No, he said five out of 10. Oh, five out of 10. Oh, okay. Five out of 10. So, (laughs) okay. So now call her, call her. This is the thing. This is the thing. When she left and you said, call me, she said, I'll think about it. Then she told her friend that it was a five out of ten, and you ain't get her ice cream. So after no, no, after yeah. the dick of pizza. No, he said he wanted a fucking pizza. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. And then you hit her up, and then she said she wasn't interested in the, in the fucking in the pizza. Right. Yeah. That's what she. Yeah. And then and then that's when you heard about her talking about you know uh, you ain't get her ice. Your boy came up to you. So okay. So my the question is this: Why would you want to text a girl to get some pizza and some dick after she told you she's not going to call you when she get home? Oh my god! Yes, why? I was thirsty. It was say thirsty. I, no, no, I, I was I was thirsty. I ain't gonna lie. In that moment, 
I was no, 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 what I was, so I no, no, I was two young. moments, two moments. Was, two moments. Huh? You, were, you were thirsty in that moment. And you were thirsty you know, when she was telling you, I don't want to have sex with you on the first fucking date, and yet you did it anyway. And then this is why you nice guys always end up last because y'all are full of shit. <laughs> You're disingenuous. See, real men ain't we're not disingenuous. We keep it a buck. You didn't keep it a buck. From the moment she asked why her, you didn't say let's fuck. You 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 lazy her eyes by watching the third season of you <laughs> in the bedroom. Knowing that she didn't want to fuck, dog. And that's why it in the car now three hours makes sense. Cause you were whittling her down and chipping away at her. Mm -hmm. Call her. This is what you gotta do when you're dealing with women. It needs to be a hundred percent cooperation. Then on top of that, you need to let the woman know exactly what needs to happen and what's gonna go down. Yes. Because from the jump, when you when you didn't address the lateness, when you were being passive aggressive. That's where you, you that's where you started fucking up from the jump. And then while the situation was happening, you were being even more passive aggressive. And then this is why in the situation that 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 it happened in this in this situation, bro. This is what we're talking about. You're, you're wondering, you're you're thinking about what your boy said that she said and wondering, did you do something wrong? But understand that the wrong thing was you were dealing with a woman who wasn't cooperating and who wasn't into you like that. She, she was still trying to make it happen anyway. Please leave him alone, please. If you can't control your dick, please leave women alone, caller. No means no, dog. You got yeah, I don't listen, please. And I'm not joking. I don't want anything to happen to you guys. If a woman says no, no matter what, if she's smiling or giggling, no is no, brother. Right. No is no. And you can't, and I don't want to hear that she wanted to see my dick and pull it out and all that stuff. No means no across the board. So why are you so thirsty, desperate that you bypassed the no and did everything that she said she didn't want to do? Because I'm not talking to enough women right now. Because what? Because I'm not talking to enough women right now. Because you're not talking to enough women, but what's, <laughs> dog, I know. Are you serious? Because you're not, <laughs> not talking to enough was... women. You you bypass the no because you're thirsty. Not okay. Not bypassing no part, but like so I was talking about doubling back, not bypassing the no, but <sighs> bypassing the no. It was it was because I've been in situations like that before, and they're like they're saying no, but they're Dog, literally... we're literally okay. We're the car. I'm gonna car it's, it's always these. It's always the young cats that be with that bullshit. I'm telling you, y'all you know, <laughs> locked up, right? Call her, call her. So you're saying that you've been in a situation before where the girl's like, no, 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 and then she ended up doing it, right? Because it would be like, no, but she's touching me while she's saying no, and then she's feeling no. Like, Man, no, you're going, oh, get out. Bye. <laughs> call her, call her, call her. We un call her. We understand that, but this is what you got to, this is what we're telling you, right? This is what we're telling you. And I talk, I actually talk about this on a bad boy membership now. See, there, see, there's, uh, 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 so what happens is right is that there might be a conversation you're having with a woman where she'll say certain things, right? Just because she's playing around, playing hard to get, so forth and so on, and it just is what it is. That's just in that particular circumstance. But when you're in a situation where sex can actually happen, where y'all actually in closed doors, close proximity, where sex can happen, mm -hmm. and the woman is like, "Well, I'm not trying to do this, or I ain't giving you none, and this ain't happening on the first date," blah blah blah, and all that other stuff. What you say is, "All right, cool, no problem." Well, listen, you have a good night. That's it. And when you're ready to make this happen, then holler at me. Th that's that's it. That's, that's, it, it. that's it. That's all. But brother, you got to be better, dog. Okay. Because <laughs> right. I, I don't want I don't want anything happening to you, brother. I'm being, right. I'm that ass cool thing, right. Because in, in jail, in jail, you won't be able to say no. Uh, and when you get to prison, because you because you did something that you shouldn't be doing. Because caller, let me let me explain to you what happens a lot of times. So let's say you meet another girl, right, and you did sim a similar thing. You know what's going to happen? So let's say she's acting that way because she's being iffy. Right. And I yeah, end up doing it. And then she goes back to her girlfriends and her girlfriends is like, oh, so what happened last night? Oh, well, yeah, me and that guy, we hooked up. She's like, you hooked up with that guy. You don't even know him like that. And blah, blah, blah. Now, because she's feeling guilty, she's going to say, 
oh, but I felt like he took advantage of me. I really didn't want to do it, but he did. And then she's like, girl, did he force you? And then she's like, well, I mean, I kind of didn't. And he's like, girl, that's, that's not, that's not good. That's, that's great. You got, you see what I'm saying? That's what happens when women feel guilty. They start saying shit. You know what I'm saying? That they, you see what I mean? So you got to make sure the girl is a thousand million, a hundred percent about it. This is what I always say. Make sure that you're at an eight and she's at a 10. What does that mean? Yeah. Anytime you first have sex with a woman, right? She has to be at a 10. You have to be at an eight, meaning that she wants you more yeah. than you want her. Yes. Do you understand what I'm saying? So she should be coming at you like crazy. You see what I mean? And you have to be the one to manage this situation. So the girl should be complying, consenting, 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 consenting consistently. There should be zero resistance. Zero. Not even a little bit. Does that make sense, Colin? Yeah, she, she was at a two and he was at a 20. Exactly right. <laughs> oh, uh, All right, Carl, we'll throw you back in, dog. But man, please be careful next time. Please, okay? No, I will. All right, man. God damn it. 25 years old. It's, uh, there goes 702. What's your name? Where you calling from, sir or ma'am? Hello, Yup Tukui. 32 years old, calling from Amsterdam. Yes, how can we help you from Amsterdam? What's up? Yeah. Okay. Um. So I made a wall scenario for when this woman comes to my spot tomorrow. And I got a painting with a woman in my house. And I made a story about the painting to tell to the woman. So I was wondering if you guys can review the story. Wait, the story. Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. We got hold, on, hold your thoughts because we don't understand what you're saying. But hold on, uh, uh, Johnny, yeah. Johnny, 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 Johnny. Why y'all discard handsome man game and money game? I've seen FedEx fearless pull a lot of girls. <laughs> <laughs> so Johnny, why are you here then? Go go watch FedEx fearless. Yeah, 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 Johnny, <laughs> Johnny, that's not real, Johnny. Okay, Johnny, uh, I want you to go type up in Google express written consent. Okay, so if anybody's showing a video, they've got to sign a waiver. To allow their likeness to be on TV, unless Johnny, it's a hired model to get a dumb motherfucker like you to believe that he can just say hi. I'm flex and fearless, and she's like, "Oh my God, let me take your clothes off." And Johnny's like, "Whoa, it works. His infields work, Johnny." You need help. I'm sorry, Carter. What's going on, buddy? Back to you. Now, what's going on with you now? So I made up a story about the painting in my house, and I want you guys to review my story. What is the story? Uh, Wait, go ahead. Listen, go ahead. What's the story? Okay, okay. It's a painting of a woman in an elegant, elegant blouse where the buttons in the middle are open and... A rose goes up along the middle of her body with stop. Wait, 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 wait. That's yeah. terrible. Wait, wait, stop. Wait, wait, stop. Why are you explaining yeah. what the fuck she's looking at? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I explained it to you so you can. I don't need better you to explain it to me. Just okay, just, 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 just tell the story. What was the story? Okay, okay. So um, this is what I see. I see a locked woman full of passion, joy, and sexual desires. An elegant woman who was raised in a strict way and her desires suppressed because of her strict upbringing. A woman who is afraid of being judged and finds it very important what people think of her. You can tell from her clothes. Okay, all right, call her, call her, from call a her, call her. Family. Yeah, all right, yeah, call her, call her. Yeah. This is not going to work because you, you sound like a script. It's not going to work, dog. <laughs> yeah, like, because I, I am reading I am reading it off my computer, well, but yeah, I'm trying but, to, uh, you, okay. to, to repeat it and to rehearse it and make it. Well, uh, rehearse, it rehearse it and come back because it just sounds so broken, okay? Yeah, okay, okay. okay right, cool. give, then, give, uh, then I'm going to keep rehearsing it. All right, thank you, sir. We'll talk to you later. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the call. Yeah. Okay, uh, Erico 647, sir. What's your name? What's your question, sir? Six four seven going once, six four seven going twice. Yo, yo. yo what, what is your name and where you're calling from, sir? This recommend from Toronto. Recommend from Toronto. How can we help you, recommend? <laughs> oh, yo, and yo, Lucario, 
That video, that video is just entertainment, bro. Which video? What the fuck are you talking about? The the love is love, love is black, bro. Oh, you talking about you talking about the video that he the, the, the this is the nigga that made the video talking about we scamming and and uh and he had the bonnet on his head and shit. That's the bonnet, yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. That's the bonnet. Oh Jesus, fuck! Are you? <laughs> Nigga, stop. This is the bonnet motherfucker. This ain't the bonnet motherfucker. It can't be the bonnet. Nah, it is, it is. So what what's your what's your question then? What's going on? No, nah, but I left a I left a comment. No, nah, I'm just apologizing for that first time. That was bullshit though. Y'all know I call in and shit. That that shit is just for fun. But, <laughs> this nigga said it's just for fun. Stop. What's, it. what's your question, man? I, I commented earlier on the first video that you guys did with the guy that was mad and shit with dates. Mm -hmm. I said that women don't necessarily need to be doing that shit either. You doing know what? Like they don't need to be accepting dates with dudes that they don't want to fuck with. Wait a second, what, oh, why, 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 but why not? Why not? Why can't they? Why shouldn't they? Who are you to decide what women should do and not do? No, I'm saying in them sitting there having that argument, right, on that podcast, he got a point that. The girls could just say, "Yo, I'm just gonna fuck with dudes I want to fuck." With. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. So, 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 hold on. So, record. Let me ask you a question. Should you only fuck women you want to marry? No. Why not? Well, as a from our perspective, as a man, you you should fuck as many bitches as you want to fuck. Right, with. Exactly. So, 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 call her. So, why can't she just go out on as many dates as she wants? Yeah. Why can't she do that? All I'm saying, bro, is that in no, 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 no. Here's a question. Wait, wait. Who's hey? Who's the dumb fuck who has no game? Pa they <laughs> pander to the woman, saying, "I'm gonna take you out on a date. Let me feed you." She's not asking for the food. You're offering the food. You want to know why? No, no, because weak motherfuckers <laughs> always offer dinner dates and food dates because they use the food because they're weak as fuck. No, we know me, you. And no, no, no! You know. ain't with us. No, no, don't, don't say me, you, you, them, because you're the no, one we complaining. Know, we know that these dudes are suckers that are doing. No, this. no, 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 no! If you're complaining, so, 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 so Rekka, why can't those women just use the suckers? What's the, what's the issue? What's wrong with that? Nah, I'm not saying from my own. I'm not saying I'm a. I'm gonna get up there and argue with a bitch. <sighs> I'm just saying in defense of those guys having that conversation. Defense. I was. I'm, I'm not even going to lie. Like, I was kind of shocked that you guys got on the dudes. Like, when I was watching that... You know, was, you know why we getting on the dudes? Because we, we the, the question is, why does a guy give a fuck about what a woman's doing? Exactly. <laughs> That's what we're saying. Why do you give a fuck? All right. Well, no, no, no. Not all right. No, answer quick because you wouldn't defend them. See, here's the problem. <laughs> You're defending lying, deceptive, manipulative motherfuckers. Do you not see that? They don't want to listen. No. They don't want to go to dinner. They want to fuck, but they don't know how to ask for what they want. So why would you defend them? All right, man. I feel I feel that. No, no, no. I know you feel it. Now you're finally coming to fucking light now. Why would you defend? <laughs> why would you defend somebody? That knows all he wants to do is fuck. But he has no game because he's been listening to all that red pill jargon and shit. And now he finally meets a woman. And because he's boring and bland, he thinks I got to take her out to dinner. But some of those guys really do. Some of those guys really do. They are just moist and they want to go on dates and shit. They really want to do that. So then why get mad? Really okay, 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 wait. Why get mad? Why get mad then? All right, I got. I got see, it. you can get killed here. See, you see, you see. This is why they don't put people like us on those panels with you where you at. Because if we on that panel, we make all them, we make you and all them motherfuckers look like a bunch of dumbass <laughs> idiots. So they want to have an idiot box where they let you run your mouth and complain a, a about the women. You're complaining about the you you're complaining about the the women. Mm -hmm. You're not complaining about the guys. All right. Where is where's you saying, you know what? This, these guys are disingenuous. They lie to women, and all they're trying to do is get some ass. And they're cloaking it behind the dinner. But you didn't do that. You try to blame the women. You want to know why? Because all your butt buddies that you want clicks from are going to follow you because you want to tear down women with that red pill rhetoric. 
thing. I don't talk no red pill shit. No, you don't think that's red pill? <laughs> you don't think that bitch ass shit you said is red pill? Wait a second. Do I, wait, wait. Let's go back and listen to you talk. Hold on. Let's go back and listen to you talk. Hold on. Let me pop this shit up. I'm, no, You're using I'm dating. Men. You're I'm using getting men. to know. No, You're I'm not. Excuse men. me. Hold on. I'm getting to know men and I'm getting to know what I like and what I don't like. So hey, you ever use a dude for some food? Yes or no? And be honest. Yeah. All right, then. So you're using but men. But I don't need to go out to dinner. Yeah, the ones you go... date, the ones you pick, don't even have to take your ass out to dinner. They can pull up in some basketball shorts and some flip flops and wear your ass out. You use. So now you're mad at guys who's getting the pussy versus. Nah. versus Nah, because I'd be getting the pussy. Too. But no, so so call her. So so the funny part is he's saying that she's using men, but men are using women too. What's the what's the issue then? What's the issue? It's all it's all balanced out. No, I, I got y'all, man. I got like, y'all. That's all we saying. <laughs> yeah, we dog, dog. You better hope they don't put a real one on these panels because we gonna make y'all look bad, dog. <laughs> but, but yo, I got a I got a story too. That I want to, I want to understand what I did wrong. Or oh, now you want to have? Oh, please <laughs> let us know your story. What's up, man? What did you do wrong? <laughs> so on Sunday, I think it was on Sunday, I had a bitch come over, right? And we get in the crib or whatever, and we chilling, and I'm playing the music, and then at some point, the bitch is like on her phone and shit. Stop! Stop. Stop. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Like I'm gonna ask the other guy. It's it's just us guys right now. What did you want from that woman? The fuck, and I got it. So then, what is her being okay? So she's but, on the phone. So what's the problem? <laughs> See, here no, we go no, again. No. Wait, wait, wait. Just like the ice cream, you, she's on her phone, but you got the pussy. But yet, there's a problem. But get so listen before. There's a story before we get to the fucking. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> she's showing me. So I have her showing me her little playlist or her music and shit. <laughs> So then, for about maybe 15 minutes of this, and then I see her, like, texting on her phone and shit. So I said, damn, like, why you got the phone out, you boy? Yo, so then she says to me, she's like, oh, I don't think we have a vibe here. I said, oh, bet. So I said, all right, so you ready? And she's like, yeah. So then next thing you know, before she's about to get up, she goes, she start, basically she starts telling me, yo, you know, you could have cleaned the place up a little bit more. She's like, she's seeing, she's like, she's so was your, anyway, was your place dirty? I didn't think it was dirty. Like my my, like she basically was saying that. So she's wait, wait, wait. So she's disrespecting you in your own house, and you rewarded with dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you you just like man, y'all. <laughs> I'm clear to y'all why. Y'all women, like Zach said, got to share us and why you got to stay away from nice guys. You ain't shit, man. <laughs> what, you consider that disrespect? What is disrespect? A, a girl coming to your house somebody you could have cleaned up a little more? What? <laughs> Fuck. Seriously? I, I got what she explained to me what it was and I got what she I don't give a fuck. Get out. <laughs> Get out. Dude, you, you, know, you, know, you know what a woman will do if she see a place dirty and she respects you? She will shut the entire fuck up. That's what she would do if she respected you. Or, or, or she'll get lazy ass up and start cleaning up. Exactly. That, exactly. She'll start cleaning it up herself. Did she clean it up for you? Nah. Oh. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Why y'all so thirsty for pussy, man? Yo, but but she basically was she basically was like, you know, like I feel like a whore and this and that. Some thought that she just have coming through, like you could have she like you could have had the place a little bit better. I know, but know. this is what I'm saying. Why <laughs> she said she said you make me feel like a whore? whore? A whore because the place was dirty and trashy. So why did you <laughs> escort her out, buddy? I don't know. Next, you know, because you wanted you know, to put no. You want to know why? Because this is you, good guys again. You're good until you know you ain't getting no pussy. Then why? Hey, how did you convince her from not feeling like a whore and giving her? First giving, of all, first of all, that was my third pussy three days in a row. No, first no, no. Time. Stop moving but the goalposts. Don't want to hear that shit. We're talking about but the woman in your house that feels like a whore. How did you convince her to change her mind? That she's not a whore and to give up the pussy. Nah, like I basically just told her, like, yo, it's not even that serious. Like I wasn't even, I, I didn't think much of it. Like I thought the place was good, and then <sighs> next thing you know, she was in the bed, her clothes was off, and I was fucking the shit out of her. 
So what's like, the problem then? Not- no, wait, wait, what's the problem then? But I wanted to know what that shit was about. What that was, was about, about you, shit, and said, get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> That's all you had to say. <laughs> get the fuck out of my house. So, so you think her saying that was some bullshit then? Okay. No, 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 no. Her saying that. Okay, check this out. The only reason a woman feels like she's a whore. Okay, okay, check this out. What, who do whores fuck? I don't know. You could say bad. You could say Those. dudes, like just dudes. Okay, what type of guys do they fuck? Guys they desire fucking, or do they fuck guys they that they have to fuck because they paying them? What? I'm asking which type of guys do whores fuck? Do they fuck guys they want to fuck, or do they fuck guys they have to fuck? Which one? It depends on what you're. you're have to. You call it. Just say have to. Call it. Say have to. It's the ones they have to. Say have. Say have to. Yes, we're talking about a whore, a prostitute. They oh, have whore. to fuck the guys that are paying them. That's what prostitutes do. So if she's saying to you she feels like a whore, she's essentially saying you're the type of guy I really don't want to fuck. You understand? So what happened? This is why I got. I got to listen. This is why we talking about this disrespect. Then what happens is she's trying to use your apartment as a uh, as an excuse to not really want to do it do you understand what i'm saying she's like oh it's it's dirty in here it could have been more clean so she's saying man if if this was cleaner then maybe i would feel better about doing what we're about to do does that make sense yeah yeah that makes sense this is why you guys got to listen and pay attention and be up on game because these things are going to pop out at you. So what we're saying is, is that she basically disrespected you from the jump by saying all that shit, by saying she felt like a whore and by also saying your place was fucked up. That's when you should have basically told her, hey, you got to get the fuck out. But you, you, want, you, want, you, want, you want a pussy so bad. You hate yourself and allow someone to disrespect you and you reward them with dick. How does that even work? I didn't even think much of it. You got, okay, no. dog, wait, wait, wait. But you think much of a woman using a guy on a de- on a dinner date, right? You're so adamant about that shit, <laughs> but you're not adamant about someone disrespecting you? <laughs> See, this is something. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. How, how long were y'all there? How long was she there? Let's, that's the, the, <laughs> the big, how long was she there? <laughs> Not crazy long, maybe about a couple of hours. Okay. Oh my gosh, so she was there for more than two hours. No, but I was in the bed with her for like we was fucking and doing. All no, the you were cuddling with her, were you? You cuddled her, didn't you? Nah, 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 nah. nah come on, dog. So you gave you gave a chick that disrespected you an hour and a half a dick. No, nah, you ain't fucking no hour and a half. You fucking about a good it was five a, it was minutes. A good hour and a half, a couple rounds in it. Too. You I'm give a woman who disrespect you a couple rounds? Oh my god! Y'all, y'all gotta, y'all gotta value your dick more. This is what we try to tell y'all, caller. Oh. You gotta value your dick. There's a lot piece to this shit, though. Oh Jesus, more? Kind of weird. So yo, when she, so when she goes home and shit, right? I told her, yo, just let me know when you get there, cause she got in a fucking lift and shit. So <sighs> when she gets back to the crib, she tells me, um, yeah, I'm home now or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. So. I tell her, all right. And then <laughs> at the same time, I'm setting up a link up with another chick for the next day. Mm. So by accident, like that chick had texted me. I gave her my number, told her to text me so she, from Snapchat. So she had texted me. And then when I opened the messages app, I, I, so I said, I said like something like, when are you free tomorrow? Or so, like I said something that you could tell that I'm talking to another chick, but I sent it to that girl that had just texted me she got home. So, so then wh- she goes, so so then she goes she goes oh well that's crazy right so then i tell her like oh my bad wrong person is she so the message is not going through like she blocked me or whatever so then i go back to snapchat and she deleted me on snapchat too what, what, so then, like, I, what are you saying then what's the problem <laughs> then, like, another hour after that next thing you know she texts me again some shit like oh like i had a good time or whatever like she unblocked me so like what like what the fuck was that right there? Why she even blocked me and unblocked me anyway? God, this you can't be. How old are you? Twenty seven. You can't be. You can't be. There's just no fucking way. I thought you were gonna say eighteen. So, so call her. Why do you care about dealing with this woman? That's a whore. No, I really don't care. Like I'm just. Then asking, why are you? Then, 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 
What is it that you give a fuck about your question in? Why do you care if she blocked you and came back? I don't, I'm just asking, bro. I'm oh just asking. Call her, call her. Understand <laughs> that this woman from the jump does not respect you. Oh, she already disrespected you by <laughs> saying she feels like a whore in your presence, disrespecting your house. Then when you told her, oh, my bad, I sent the wrong text. She disrespects you again by blocking you and then also disrespects you again by trying to get at you again by unblocking you. You understand? Because basically she says, see, you guys have to read between the lines of what what happens when you deal with women, because if the chick blocks you and then unblocks you, you know what she's basically saying? She's saying, fuck you. And then she's saying, you know what? I take the fuck you back. And I know you're going to take me back because you ain't got no standards. Because I just basically said, fuck you. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you got to call her. You got to read between the lines. The reason why she's all over the place with you is because you're all over the place with her. And when, when, when you're all over the place with a woman, she don't respect you. All right, caller, we'll let you go, man. Thanks for the call, man. All right, All right man. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this can't be real. 702, what's your name? Where you calling from, sir? Hi, uh, Yubdu Fui. I'm calling back. And uh, sorry, but uh, I forgot my manners. Shout out to Game Kings, everybody on the Game Kings. And shout out Steve Sedin Williams for being my coach. And oh. also shout out to beautiful ladies in the chat. Mm -hmm. um, can I have another try? Try about what? About my story of the painting. <laughs> uh, call in tomorrow. Call in tonight's uh, show. with our sex show. Just call in tonight, okay? Call in tonight. That, that's too late for me, man. I'm sleeping then. Okay, well, now's not the time, dog. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, okay, buddy. Okay, okay. it's cool, man. All right, thank I will you. catch another life then. Fuck. Okay, thank you, Neverlands. Thank you, thank you. Erico210, two, two what's your name, sir? What's your question? 210 going once. Two one zero going twice. Two one zero. Hey, hey, Steve. Hey, look hard. This is Brandon calling from San Antonio. Can you hear me? Yes, okay. sir. What's going on? What's going on, Brandon? How can we help you, Brandon? So, with that first caller who was talking about a woman being late, I also had a woman on a date that I went on last week that was thirty minutes late. Uh, I'm just curious, like, how would I address that? What do you mean, like, how, you well, how you address it? Tell us how you address somebody who's late. And wasting your fucking time. Well, when she showed up, I don't uh, give a fuck. She she came thirty minutes late. Do is the do you want pussy so bad that you can't stand on anything? Call her. No, I don't want it that bad. Well, then why don't you tell that fucking woman the next time you show up late like this, just don't come at all. I don't I, listen. Characters, everything. If you're showing right. up 30 minutes late, that's disrespectful. Right. Right. What? Well, I told. I that's. I, I told her. Uh, I asked her why she was 30 minutes late. No, I don't know. No. Uh, uh, uh. Fuck the why. Don't ever come late like this. Let me ask you a question. Did she call you and tell you she was coming late? Gonna be late. No, she didn't. Man, did oh she my God. Thank you, man. Wait, 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 wait. So she didn't even text you to say, hey, I'm running late? Nothing? Oh, nothing, man. Fuck. No, nothing. And so you were still there? Oh, God. So where? Like on the date or waiting? <sighs> yes, you were still waiting at the place for her? Huh? What happened? Did Steve, did Steve uh, freeze? <laughs> Or did I freeze? Hold on. <laughs> I think Steve froze. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, look. I think Steve is frozen. Steve got that. <laughs> Somebody screenshot that shit. <laughs> Hold on. Gonna... Hold on. I need to screenshot this shit. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I hope this shit don't unfreeze. I got to screenshot this shit. This shit funny as fuck. I just screenshotted that shit. <laughs> oh, oh shit, Steve, Steve froze. I, I got that shit on the screenshot. Oh, man, that was a perfect screenshot. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right, so I think Steve got to come back. 
Uh, that's funny. That's funny. So yeah, man, listen, guys, if you're ever dealing with a chick and she come 30 minutes late without a call or a text, hell fucking no. Hell fucking no. You see know what I'm saying? Hell fucking no. You understand? He needs to be gone. That's crazy. Oh, yeah, I definitely got that screenshot, though. That's going to be, I'm going to send that shit straight to Steve. So he can use it. <laughs> oh, shit. That shit funny. Man. That shit funny. Oh, my goodness. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe Steve got a power outage or some shit. Oh, he said it's a blackout. Oh, damn. I think, he, I think he's trying to come back on. Let me see if he, he could come back on. Let me text him. That's crazy. Let me see. Back on. Man. That's just funny. Hold on, let me let me put my phone lines up for the time being. Till we wait for Steve to come back on. All right. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put my phone lines up. So if you guys want to call in as you're waiting for Steve to get back on the shit, you guys can call in to my number. Six four six four eight one three nine zero one, and we will get back to it. Yeah, it always be them, uh, them blackouts in Texas. You feel what I'm saying? Six four six four eight one three nine zero one. All right, let me pin that to the top. So I, I pin I pin my number to the top. So if you guys want to call in as we're waiting for Steve, you guys can call into that number. And then we will make that happen. You feel what I'm saying? That's funny. Uh, you said, where's the best place to meet cougars? Uh, planet Earth, bro. Planet Earth is the best place to meet cougars. You feel what I'm saying? They're all over the place. They are all over the place. Uh, man. But yeah, man, if you guys don't call up, 646-481-3901. I, put, I pinned it to the top of the chat on my channel. So make sure you guys call up that one if you guys want to call up. You feel what I'm saying? But um, but yeah, but regarding the last caller though. I'm on my yeah, hey, we had a rolling blackout in this motherfucker. Let me get oh, the shit. Line. Okay, you back, you back? <laughs> yeah, I'm back, motherfucker. Oh, let me let me get the lines, man. Damn, it's like shit, glad yeah, shit just went poof. All right, cool, cool. Yeah, so we good. Yeah. We good. Yeah, we good, but I got I grabbed the questions, and everything. Oh, let me let me make sure the lines are open. All right, lines are open if you guys want to call in now. Okay, lines are open. Okay. Just want to double check that. But yeah, we got a bunch of questions to answer anyway, guys. But y'all want to call in, y'all can check. Okay, let me just double check that. Check, check, check. All right, we're good. We're clear. All right, lines are open, guys. If you want to call in, uh, Lucario, here's some questions and everything. Here we go. Let me hit this button here. Got a bunch of questions. Uh, here we go. Here's a question right here. Yeah, yes, I'm you have a plane in the background. Yeah, wait, let me let me go. Go ahead, mute that. Go ahead, mute that. Yeah, because I saw something, I, I hear something in the background real quick. So it says, uh, if affirmations are less effective because the core of ourselves is broken, how do we know when the core is not broken so affirmations can be effective? Well, the, the thing is, is, you know, one of the things is you just have to be open to new information. You have to be open to receiving the information, right? So a lot of times it's just really the fact that you're blocking the information because you don't want new information on a, you know, subconscious level, or you think you feel you don't need the information. So this is why a lot of guys, they, they fuck up on, you know, learning game because they think they don't need game. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and so it blocks them from actually getting the, the game, getting to their core. You understand? Yeah. Right, right. Erico five, six, one. Sorry for that. I, I had to reset that. How can we help you? What's your name? We calling from, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. Hey, how you doing? This is Johnny from Florida. Um, I was calling. First of all, I want to say, how you doing, Steve? How you doing, Lucario? What up, what up? How you doing? How you doing? So my question is, my question for the day is, man. Um, so when when it when it comes to um the belief structure and the contracts, uh, to uh, I, I realize that I have to have a a mental strength, like a mental a mental uh toughness. Mm -hmm. uh, to be able to encode in uh, the belief, the beliefs into myself, 
So how how would I be able to uh, build that mental toughness? You, okay, okay. Uh, uh, again, you got to be a student of the game. This is what you keep messing up. You can't do it yourself. You got to be a student, though. Right, right. Bottom line. Right, right. right. I am. I am. I'm studying. I've been studying the well, game. Well, you're not studying. studying you're not because you're 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 asking this this question. You're not. Right. Like I when I when I do do my uh, my gratitude, like I see it. Like Caller, see ask it. anyway. It. Ask another question. What's your other question? You have another question? Okay, I'm just saying, like, what what's the practices I can do to? There's no okay. All right, caller. All right, caller. <laughs> what part of being a student don't you understand? A student means that either yourself, or myself, or Lucario, you have got to get coaching on the back end to have conversations, personal conversations on what's happening with you. You're not doing that. So until you start doing that, you're not going to get your question answered, buddy. Okay. Okay. Got you. Got you. All right. We'll throw All you right, back in. You. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. Uh, lines are open, guys. Uh, let's get to the next question. Uh, Lucario, did you answer that question? Yeah, yeah. We go to the next All question. All right. Let's see. Here's another question here. Um, it says, in uh, what different situations, and I replied back to a girl versus leave her the door, leave the door open. Well, it says, wait, in what I not. You know, fly back to the girl first. Oh, I guess he's saying, like, in what situation should he just charge us to the game or sort of leave it open to where she could get back to you? So, so for example, um, if you're in a situation where, you know, I, 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 just the easiest way, you charge women to the game when they do something blatantly disrespectful, right? And then you can leave the door open when it's just a situation or circumstance they would need to get back to you. So let's say you meet a girl, she got a man. You say, well, listen, if that changes, holler back at me. You understand? <laughs> that type of shit. 210, what's your name? Where you calling from, sir? What's up? Hey, Steve. Hey, Mr. Carl. This is Brandon. From okay, what's your, okay, Brandon, what's, your, okay what is your, what's your question, buddy? What's up? So there was uh, that woman that was late. Is that... So the actually was 30 minutes late. I didn't handle it properly. Not anything. 30 minutes late, Brandon. She didn't even have enough respect for you to tell you the bitch is going to be late. And then on top of that, you rewarded her bad behavior. So, so where was she meeting you at? At this coffee shop. Okay, so you stayed at the coffee shop for half an hour waiting for her. Yeah. What? <laughs> okay, so why'd you do that? Why are you so thirsty, <laughs> Brandon? What, what? What should I have done? Wait, 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 wait. Do you understand? One of the most important things for a man is his time. I'm not waiting. Well, time should you cannot get that 30 minutes back. Right. So why would you sit there and wait 30 minutes for a woman that showed up late? Why did why were you so damn desperate? And she didn't even call you. What? So then would I at what point did, did I try to just leave then? After five after minutes, five, minutes, hey, minutes. look at your clock. I'm gonna give her about three more minutes. I'm out. Mm -hmm. And you didn't so call. You didn't text her and say, "Hey, um, you know, what's your ETA?" Nothing. You didn't text her. No, I didn't text her. And so, so on the day of the date. Did you confirm and say, hey, you know, uh, we still on for the coffee shop or whatever? Did y'all have any of that communication? Yeah, I called her about an hour and a half, two hours before. And, and what did she say? She said, yeah, no, I'm, I'm uh, getting ready now. I'm going to uh, leave soon. Okay. And so and so now she gets to the date, and then what happens? So she gets there. Uh, I meet her. I greet her. And as we're walking through the coffee shop like through the door uh i asked her why she was late she told me because she lives on the other side of town and she said there was traffic and i said okay well 30 minutes is unacceptable i think it's rude and so if it's decided that you and i are to meet again after today then if you are more than five or ten minutes late then it'll be the last time you and i see each other i don't think you said that bill i think you lying dog i don't even want to play me you lying dog <laughs> you know what we said you lying mother then what's your fun question then what's your question it's just that interim of anything I could have done different. Message her like, hey, where you at? Or left. No, or just man, this is why y'all don't love. Man, I don't understand y'all humans. 
Why do y'all guys want pussy so bad that you can't chin check a woman at the gate on how, how your time is? My time is everything. And if you, especially, Lakari, she didn't even call. Mm -hmm. She didn't even call. Dog. She didn't even call you. It shows the utter disrespect. Not mm -hmm. only di she disrespects you on two levels, dog. And then you rewarded her with a coffee date. And when you, okay, when you magically told her, if you do this again, what did she say? She said, okay, yeah, no, I'm sorry. No, but. <laughs> okay, so, so, and when did this happen? Sometime last week. Like on Monday. Okay, and 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 did you talk to her? Did she call you, or what happened? What's what's the situation now? No. So afterwards, uh, I was I really wasn't feeling her, and so um, like a day passed, and she didn't hit me up or anything, and so kind of just left it at that. So then wait a second. For somebody who's not feeling a woman, then why the fuck are you calling us about a woman you're not even fucking feeling? <laughs> Something is wrong, man. Why, why do y'all say, how old are you, young man? 18? No, nah, 26. Okay. So, so basically, so you're asking us what did you do wrong in this situation or what you could have corrected? Is that what you're asking? Yeah, what I could have corrected it. Oh, well, yeah, you stayed. That's what you did wrong. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. It doesn't make any sense, man. Right. That's, that's what happened. You stayed. You understand? Okay. I would have, yeah. That's right. So you, you should have been gone. That's it. All right. All right. Okay. We'll throw you back in. Thank you for the call, sir. Thank you for the call. Oh, my God. This doesn't make any sense. They're like 25, 20, 25, 26, and 27-year-old guys mm -hmm. that just don't have no value or worth. Mm -hmm. uh, let's get to this next one. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we got the goon. Wait. Man, there's so many. Wait. We got the goon on that one. Uh, situations. No, we told you to call in, and we ain't gonna answer yours till you call in. We'll talk to you when you call in, Rico. Yeah, that, that was yeah, that was uh, the dude. That that was call in? Okay, so we okay. Yeah. Wait, so he said two hours. Oh, three out two. Okay, never mind. Anyway, let's get to this biggest question. Said uh, I've been approaching a lot of girls at the gym, but I'm worried it might give me a reputation as a thirsty guy. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, <laughs> well, well, it is. It is going to give you a reputation as a thirsty guy because you worried about looking at you looking you you're worried about looking thirsty. I know, man. Okay, oh. man. The gym is just is not a club. <laughs> the gym is not a club. Okay, the gym is not a club. That's all I want to say. <laughs> um, uh, do you guys question a woman's physical thirst to touch you? When they link up you for the first, wait, charge that as being attractive. What? What? I mean, what are you saying? Are you saying? Are we, wait, do you question a woman's fit? So, are you saying do we question it like it's something wrong with a woman wanting to touch us and stuff? Is that what you're saying? Razzle, you got to call up. Call up to clarify what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Please call in eight six five. What's your name? Where you calling from, sir or ma'am? Uh, Knoxville, Tennessee. Yeah, uh, what's your name? Your name is Knoxville, Tennessee. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I thought you just, I, all I heard was where you're calling from. Oh, um, my name is uh Abe. Okay, Abe, I'm from that's Knoxville, fine. Tennessee, oh, 38 going? years old. Okay, Abe, how can we help you, buddy? Yeah, man, I just got a genuine question, man. Um, I'm trying to join a membership, but um, I'm 38, I'm married. I'm not trying to join the bad boys because I'm not trying to be a player. Stop, but wait, I'm Abe, to Abe, Abe, <laughs> Abe, okay, okay. Abe. okay. Okay, let, let me say, Abe, listen, Abe. Yeah. The game is not mm -hmm. about women. Okay, <laughs> Abe? So if you go to the man mindset, bad boy membership, you go to Miles, Bakari, I mean, uh, Zag, or 1950, mm -hmm. we're teaching you how to be a fucking man, sir. Has nothing to do yes. with you being married, has nothing to do with you dating or being with a woman. So what gives you this impression that we're trying to teach you to be some kind of a pimp or some shit like that? <laughs> so, so caller, uh, why don't you just get coaching? Like hit up, hit up one of us for like one-on-one -on -one private coaching. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I want basically, you know what they say when you get married, your lady gets your 
your balls no, in the first. No, no, I don't know. They don't say that. that. No, stop. That's what y'all weak motherfuckers say. Motherfuckers got gaming saying that shit. So, so wait. So, so what's your issue with your woman? What's what's going on with her? Or what's going on with you no, in this situation? Now we just been married for eighteen years, man. And, and you know, know, when you when you ask people advice, like how long you guys been married and why you guys been married that long, they're just like, just say yes, ma'am. I'm like I don't want to be that guy. Well, then I want to get my balls back. But then, oh, then, oh. then you got to learn game. You got to be a mentor. Right. So wait, so you saying your 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 wife has your balls right now? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Caller, you never had your balls, dog. You say that with all love, okay? So. And, yeah. <laughs> so wait. So tell us how. What's the issue then? Because you call because you have some issue. What's the issue? Yeah. Um. I'm just. I'm just trying to find my my manhood back. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, what? That's what I'm saying. What is the issue? Caller, call what's the what's the issue specifically? That's what I want to know. What's what's going on? Oh, I'm just I'm just a Mitch man. I'm I'm trying to stop being a Mitch. What is a Mitch? Uh, I don't really. So it's it's like a man. Oh, you need a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. You were saying Mitch. Okay. So, so, so but call we need I need a specific, meaning like tell us something that has happened or is happening now. Meaning, like say, like be like, hey, my wife, you know, she calls me a loser and she tells me to sleep on a couch. Like, what's happening, bro? <laughs> um well. As of right now, not really much except for her just like undermining me, man. Undermining like, you how? Tell us. For example, like whenever I, because we got three kids and I tell my kids something and then she's like, oh, when dad's not around, blah, blah, blah. like, no, nah, we need to stop that. You know, we got to be on the same page. You're and not, I want to okay. be able to put my foot down. You can't be on the same page with a woman when you're not on the same page with yourself. So. Hurt. So you have got to get with one of us on the back end and get some coaching, okay? Yes, sir. Because you have got to learn how to build a standard. All that see the problem is y'all, y'all listen to all these losers with all these happy life, happy wife. The wife takes your balls and whatever the fuck you say. Men don't live that right. way, brother. So, so call. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, okay. are you are you willing are you willing at any point to divorce your your woman? I was about to ask that question. Great question. Yeah. Are you willing to lose? Her? Are you willing to lose her? No, I've thought about it, bro. Are, no, you, willing? are you willing though? That's the yes or no. <laughs> See, the game is sacrifice. I knew I was gonna get that. No, I'm serious. I'm dead ass. Right. As a man, I don't give a fuck if I'm in a relationship with a woman for four or five years. The moment she did, uh, -uh I'm out. I'm gone. We're done. You got it. I'm serious. So this is why you're gonna have to start a process of really getting some self worth because you don't have any. You have no self-worth. You have no self-esteem. You have no self-concept. So you have a bunch of things that's going wrong. Once you build those things up, then I'm sure the question will be, fuck yeah, I'll get rid of that fucking woman. But you're not there yet. That's why So that's why you need coaching because you have low self-esteem. So Lacaro and I would never tell someone with low self-esteem just to drop her. We've got to work on you to build you up, to get you to believe on your, believe in yourself, sir. Right. It's a process. But it has nothing to do with pimping, macking, or whatever you were saying, dog. Okay. 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 So, yeah. so get That's with one of us on the back end, and it's going to be a process, okay? Yes, sir. That's why I was calling, because, you know, I've been listening to you guys for the past couple of weeks, and I'm like, man, these guys. Yeah, finally from the red pill shit, huh? Welcome home. <laughs> yeah. See that? Yeah, I, I, see? I, literally, so, I literally came from there. Right, of course. Right, of course. You know, you know we know. We know. Because you know, because you you're complaining about the thing you created. You created this woman. You created right. her, her behaviors, but now you like red pill, you complain about what you created. But hey, welcome home. Mm -hmm. Just get with one of us on the back end and we, we got you, okay, my friend? Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, you Thank have a good day, sir. Take care. You too. All right. That's all. They, a lot of red pill guys. They 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 wake up here and there and. Right. Stuff like that. <laughs>
Uh, <laughs> let's see here. Uh, let's see. We already got the gym. Oh, wait. No, he's on this one. No, we, no, no, he has to call in. He has to call in. Mm-hmm. If we do the goon, uh, you still up front with a woman and tell her you want to smash if you can see potential relationship. What? <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers is hilarious. All right, so so the goon, let me ask you a question. Do you want, do you want a long term relationship with a woman who wants to fuck you or a woman who doesn't want to fuck you? Right? So when you first meet a woman, right, if she doesn't desire having your dick, then why would you want to be in a long term relationship with a woman who doesn't desire having your dick? Yeah, Go, yeah, Go, you might have to call up, buddy. We, you, we, you're, you're a little off here. Just, just call in, buddy. We got you. Uh, says when you're in an environment that's routine, such as work and the gym, is it smart to approach and ask what you want off rip, or is it better and more effective to make small talk and ask later? What does that even? What do you mean? Are you talking about a? Okay, gentlemen. The how can I say this? Do I? Okay. Let me let me show you something real quick, uh, gentlemen. Yeah, well, let me, I want y'all to see this real quick. This is this is so very important from the Godmother of Soul, Aretha Franklin. If I can find that that thing, fuck. What did I do with that bitch? Kind <laughs> of fun. Oh wait, wait. Let me see here. Oh wait, let me see. I will put custom. Put all. Okay, here we go. I think I find it right now. Ah, here it is. Here it is. L- listen to this, gentlemen. Listen to this. Listen. Listen. Here it comes. It's loading and poof. Come on, damn it. I always say, I, I don't have to give me a new computer. This fuck computer. Here we go. Motherfucker. Hold on. <laughs> Here we go. Here it is. Here, let me grab one. Here, this should load up. Here we go. It'd be hard for men to meet you because they'd be intimidated by who you are and your celebrity, and, and they'd just be too scared to, to come forward. A lot of males might be intimidated, but not men. Mm. Men rise to the occasion <laughs> with no sweat. <laughs> <And you're>, right? <laughs> am I right or am I right? And once they get to you, you know you've separated the males from the men. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so, so. Real shit. So, so the thing is for a lot of you guys, when you're doing small talk, you're showing her you're not a man. See, women want that guy that can bust through that wall of insecurity, doubt, and worry and go at the woman. I don't give a fuck if she's Beyonce. I don't care what you guys, I don't care if you see her on TV. I don't care if she's a, a, a star, a rap star, or whatever she is, movie star. You have got to say that I don't give a fuck who you are. Because who I am is greater than who you are, and you're lucky that I'm even talking to you. And if you don't have that motherfucking attitude, you got to get out the game and get some help, Lucario. Nah, real shit, real shit. And so the thing is, he was like, oh, should I do it now or later? Yeah. Uh, it's not going to matter if you do it later if you ain't that guy. You know what I'm saying? That's right. like that's, that's like if I, let's say, I let's say uh, Ju- Juvantino, right? Let's say I knew a guy who was gay and he says, Locario, should I holler? Should I holler at Juvantino now or should I do it later? It's not gonna matter because you ain't trying to mess with the dude, right? Because that's that's not the the person. So same thing with, with, with this. If the woman ain't feeling you, if you're not that guy, if you ain't got game, it don't matter if you do it now or later. She's not gonna want to fuck with you anyway. So you gotta be that guy. It's not about when you do it now or later, it's about you being that guy. And if you are that guy, you'll do it now. You ain't gotta do it later. There is no later to a man. Mm-hmm. There is, there's no such thing as a there's no such thing as small talk right there there is this is who the fuck i am what we gonna do what's up and that's it come on man you, you gotta learn the game dog <laughs> since i was on a date with a girl she said she liked me a lot uh but was disappointed i didn't take her to a fancier restaurant what can i say to show her i'm not cheap <laughs> I hate yourselves, man. (laughs) See, this is the guy that they was talking about in that clip where he's like, Why are you using these guys? See, Damien, she don't like you. You understand? The fact that she's telling you to take her to a fancy restaurant means she don't like you. Spagoli, what do you want, Spagoli? Hey, hey, Steve. Hey, Lucario. 
I got a story to tell you. I want you to critique critique my story when I asked a girl out. Can I tell you how I asked Please her out? Please hurry up. To make it in 30 minutes. minutes. Sum it up in 30. What's up? Okay, here's what happened. Basically, I called up a gym that I wanted to think about joining. It's an expensive gym. It's like 200 a month, okay? So I'm talking to the receptionist, the girl on the phone, and I'm asking her about different questions. And then I ask her, I go, "Is do you have the type of gym where, you know, girls go in there and sit there and take pictures of guys looking at them and shame them? And she goes, no, we don't have that. We, we don't really allow that. We don't allow that there. I go, okay, that's good. So you don't allow attention hose to take pictures in there. And she said to me, she goes, that's not very appropriate. I go, what do you mean, taking pictures or me mentioning attention hose? She goes, this is a professional conversation. You shouldn't be talking like that. And I go, you mean to tell me you don't talk that way, miss? And she goes, not during a professional conversation. And here's what I said to her, guys. I said, well, you work at a gym. You're probably pretty decent looking. And you're probably an attention hoe yourself, and you Spagoli. probably fuck, you fuck a lot of guys. What the fuck is wrong with you? Me. What is wrong with you, man? What kind of bitch ass shit is that? Dog, there's something wrong. Is there, It must be in the water. It must be in the water. Why the fuck are you going to, why the fuck would you uh, use some PUA pickup artist tactics and talk shit about a woman? Go to the gym and work your bitch ass out and leave. It doesn't matter if there are women taking pictures of other losers and laughing at them. It doesn't matter what that fucking woman in the front la- thinks about. Why the fuck do you care? Yo, Spagola, you need your own channel. I swear to God. This is hilarious. Let me tell you why I did it, Chief. And look, Ariel, here's why. Oh, because I, at 65, I know that she's the type of woman you that probably has shit on so many guys. I don't give a fuck how many ways to make up for it. I don't give a fuck how many fucking zebras that goddamn lion is. So wait a second. If I'm a crocodile, am I supposed to get mad at Mr. Lion for eating all the fucking zebras and shit? Am I supposed to, I supposed no. to say, oh, hey, 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 Mr. Lion, can I talk to you real quick? Hey, man, there's rumors going around in the Serengeti that you know what? That you're eating too many <laughs> animals, and I need you to stop it. Stop it. That's how you sound, dog. You sound like a fucking bitch. Stop trying to be Captain Save. And the worst part is you're doing it for guys. What is? What are you doing? You want to save the guys so they can rub on your nuts or some shit? Stop being a sucker. Worry about yourself and let these motherfuckers hang if they want to fucking get ate the fuck up, man. Okay. Can I ask? Can I? Can I ask Lucario what he thinks oh about this? Oh my god. I I think Spagoli. I think it's a waste of time. And you're wasting your time talking to this woman or any woman like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, what 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 was your purpose in talking to this woman? It, well, my purpose was to find out about the gym. And do you think me mentioning the word, the term "attention ho" would trigger her so badly? What do you think? Call her. It, it doesn't. It, it's, listen, you're <laughs> you're talking about shit that don't matter. If you if you're worried about the gym, why were you talking about attention hoes? Well, because I don't want attention hoes taking pictures of my big penis. And you know, Dan, one of the things she's talking to me. All right, man, talk- peace, man. Peace, 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 peace. All right, anyway, let's continue, man. God damn. <laughs> Guys, dr- stay away from fucking drugs. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, and then back to you. Back to you. Right. Back to you, yes. Hey, man, you need to call up, bro. What are you, what are you t- talking about? So you want to show her that you're not cheap. See, you are prime... You're you're like the perfect guy for women to use. You're the perfect guy. You understand? Because you 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 you're listening to her saying she's disappointed that you didn't take her to a fancy restaurant. Then you're thinking, man, I want to prove to her that I'm not cheap. So meaning that you're following her lead and you're trying to prove to her that you're worthy to her. Yeah, 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 dog. She wanted she wouldn't give a fuck. Five oh two, what's your name? What's your question, sir? Oh, it's Phoenix. Coming from Louisville, Kentucky. What's your question, Phoenix? What's going what's on? Up? What's going on? What's going on, y'all? Too. Uh, not much. Just a quick question on, uh, say, uh, the subject of disrespect. Also, mm. in the game, should we look at 
unappreciative behavior the same as disrespect. You got that? Okay, look. Hey, listen. Give me a reason. That, 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 see, okay. Understand this. When you have game, we're looking for reasons to get rid of women. Mm-hmm. Do something so I can get rid of you. Because you know what? And, and, and Phoenix, I, I want you to. I want you to listen to this because I, I I I had a tape recorder and I and I grabbed this from this motherfucker on the mountain. Just listen to the beginning of it. Listen to what he says. Listen. Do you know how hard it is to get rid of a woman who actually likes you, who actually respects you, actually loves you? Do you know how hard it is to get rid of that woman? Yeah. Hey. You know. So what I'm saying is, is that. When they do something fucked up, you know what we do? Yes. Mm-hmm. We, we get excited because now we can dismiss you and get you out the door. Because when you have game, it's hard to get rid of women because they don't want to go, caller. Mm-hmm. Say you, sir. No, that's that's a fact. And, and, and so you're saying unappreciative. Give me an example of what you mean. Well, that, that's what I was call, uh, say. Like, say I uh, use some of the other calls as an example. Like, say, uh, say that you was taking a woman on a date. Say you, you know, you open the door, you know, stuff like that, and she's not really there with the manners. Uh, I think one of the one call said that she was like, "Well, I might think about texting you back or something like that." So mm-hmm. I was looking at kind of those. I was like, "Well, those kind of seem to be." Now I know those callers did something, but you know, let's just use that as an example real quick. So I kind of looked at that and I went. Well, it doesn't seem like some of these women would be, or some of those women for them were kind of maybe appreciative of what they were trying to do. Well, 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 the, the, see, the problem with that situation is, is those women were not into those guys in the first place, like the two guys that call up, whatever. So those women from the rip were not interested. So, so, so the thing is, is that when he told her to call her when she gets home and she's like, I'll think about it. Or he texts her back to him about, let's get pizza and fuck. And she's like, nah, I'm good. What happens is not that she doesn't appreciate. She just doesn't like that guy. You see what I'm saying? A lot of guys don't know the difference between a woman who's interested in them or not. Just like the guy that just did the, the, uh, the question. He was like, well, she said that I need to go to a fancier restaurant. He doesn't recognize or realize that she's not into him. So he would say, oh, she's not being appreciative. No, it's just, she's not into you. Phoenix, once a woman recognizes you have a tight pussy, she feels at that point she can do anything she wants and you're not going to do anything about it. You're not going to do anything about it. And what what I'm saying to you, caller, and all you guys out here is that when you have diamond dick, you you can't get access. Women should not get access to you. You you should you should be so royal in your mind that women every woman can't talk to you, text you, or have access to you. And when you move that way, because character, guys, stop looking at their titties and their asses mm-hmm. and look at their character. Her character, if you if you do something kind like open a door for her or something and she doesn't say thank you, then we're getting right back in that car. And and and, and this the sound should sound. Hey, what is this sound, Phoenix? The sing, Phoenix, what sound? <laughs> what is that sound, Phoenix? Uh, you texting somebody else? No, no, I'm doing one more time. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What is that sound? Oh, you, oh, you ride, oh, you riding off to the next town? No, no, no. That's me about to when I when I when I pull out of the out of the out of the uh, the parking lot. I've got to turn on the the, the turning signal to, to, <laughs> to then drive her ass home, mm-hmm. and drop her off, and, and roll the fuck out. I, okay, I see what you're saying because so that unappreciative behavior is actually her showing that she doesn't value exactly. who you are as a man. Because you wait, here's the here's the fucked up thing. Because she recognizes you don't value yourself as a man. That's mm-hmm. why they don't. That's why they treat you the way they do because they know you don't value yourself. So if you don't value yourself, then they're going to treat you by how you see yourself, big dog. That's why they do what they do. Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. So we, so they're both, so they're both chargeable offenses, basically. Yeah, exactly. Please, yeah. I hope they will do that, but they won't do that to a man, though. Okay. Yeah, I got you. I got All right, friends. We'll All right, well, back in. 
Appreciate that, y'all. We'll jump back in. Great call. Guys, lines open. Oh, wait. Six, six, four, seven. What's your name, sir? And which question? Yeah, I got you. All right, appreciate it. Right, six, well, four, seven. Going y'all. once. Six, Great four, call, seven. Six, four, fucking seven. I don't understand how they don't fucking know. Six, hey, four, um, seven. This is William from uh, Canada. William, can you turn down your computer? William, when you're calling the oh, show. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. My bad. No, it's okay, William. How can we help you, sir? Um, I just want to, I'm on vacation right now. And I just want to say, first of all, I want to say F y'all passport bros. You guys suck, man. Um, <laughs> reason why I said that, uh, I, I was in, uh, Dominican Republic the other day. Yeah. And um I went outside the resort and um I went downtown and um these guys out here paying to mess with girls, man. Well why would you go out to the resort? Don't you know don't you know in certain areas like third world fucking countries, you're supposed to stay in the resort and not go outside? Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm I'm from a third world myself. I'm, you know, hey I'm dog, when I went to I, when I went to Trinidad and Tobago, when I when I went there. I stayed my bitch ass in the, in the community. Mm-hmm. I, I would drive a little bit out, but I'm not going way out that motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Uh, nah. I got I my tattoo a little bit outside of there, but no. But you're saying that the guys are mad at you or something? Nah, man. These passport bros, they're, cra- they're crazy, man. They're These not. Cr- why do you care, though? Spending money in- but, Carla, why do you care? Why, why are you worried about them? I'm not. I'm, I'm just... I'm just the, I, you guys talked about it a lot, but to experience it myself and seeing it like life is just it's on another level, man. Okay, but what's your question though? At, um like why why do these guys call her? All right, wait, wait, call her, call her, call her, call her. Wait, 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 call her, call her. We're gonna do we're gonna do okay, let's uh, stop the cameras. Yeah, yeah. Okay, call her, call her. <laughs> uh the script is gonna say Lucario is going to smile while Steve it's going to ask you what is your question, and at this point we got to okay. And we just we change. at this point you're going to ask a question about yourself, okay? <laughs> and we're not going to talk about other men because we we don't do that, okay? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, okay, right, here right. we go. Okay, on roll and action. <laughs> okay, caller, what is your question? Uh, my question is, um, I've let's see, I've been out here and um. I've noticed uh, that women are drawn to me without me. <laughs> wait, wait. Call her. Call her. Call her. Call her. Give me a second. Mm-hmm. Lucario. Three, two, one. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Ooh, oh, my God. Stop fucking lying. <laughs> okay. Caller, uh, good one. This is, yeah, caller, this is the true circle. Okay, uh-huh. then we, we 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 were all about honesty here. Okay, so yeah, let's yeah. let's let's try this again uh, and uh-huh. take three. Hey, caller, what is your question? Okay, how do you know you have game? <laughs> okay, you want to know how you know? By asking people who have game. Mm-hmm. So do you want the answer? Si, senor. Yes, sir. No. You don't have game, my friend. <laughs> so, so Carla, who, who, who's coaching you right now? Oh, no, I'm not, um, I'm not doing any uh, coaching. Wait. Right How old are you, young uh, man? How old are you, young man? Oh, sorry. My bad. I'm uh, 35. 35. Wait, wait. So let me ask you, because you're 35, you're an adult. So yeah. I want to be a lawyer or a surgeon. Would I go on YouTube to learn? And would no, you no. hire me to to cut you or to defend you? No, no, definitely not. Go to school, to education. Okay, to so learn. if one wants to learn game, then what would that one need to do and learn from? Need to get a sensei. Right. <laughs> you don't have a sensei and you asked did you know game. So what do you think you need to do, buddy? Find a sensei. I knew the car I knew this guy had it. He knew it. He knew he knows. <laughs> That's how it goes, man. That's how it goes, buddy. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, man, respect, man. so get without my little car myself and begin the process. 
And then maybe yeah. a few months from now and all this other stuff, you won't be talking about other men and traveling and traveling. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I, you're right. You're right about that. Okay. We appreciate the call, buddy. We'll throw you back in, okay? Yeah, man. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. Guys, lines are open. Let's get some of these questions here. Uh, let's see here. Um, <sighs> come on, man. We all, well, you always ask these questions, but you never call and, in. Uh, you this, oh, I didn't even see what he said. Yeah. yeah. So how do you deal with people close to you who are going through depression? Uh, okay. <laughs> now, 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 SG, I know Lacar is going to say something different than me, probably. <laughs> but you know what? I'm from the school of Ebenezer Scrooge. <laughs> and I just don't give a fuck about people because I'm too busy worrying about me. So what I'm saying is, is either you can do one or two things. You can lead them towards therapy mm. or something. And leave them alone because you you should not get tied into somebody else's depression because then you're going to become depressed or mm-hmm. you're going to feel bad. So uh, tr- help them by trying to find them some therapy or somebody they or somebody they can see to talk about their depression. But don't get involved with this shit, dog. It's a bad thing. Yeah, I agree. That's what I would say. You gotta, listen, man, just uh, get tell them, you know, get some therapy to send them to someone who can help them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you yeah. get caught up in that shit. Yeah, and, and listen, and hopefully it's not your friends. If you have friends that's like that, man, you got to cut that cancer. You get rid of losers. Be with winners. How do people stop hating themselves since y'all always say that? Learn game. That's what hey, it is. hey, these two guys on this panel right here love the fuck out of themselves, dog. We, we love us. Hey, we love us. So learning hey. game will, will show you how much you should love yourself. Yeah, and when you love yourself, the women will love you. Exactly. You hear that? Either you love yourself, the women will love you. It's that simple. Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. Uh, should I charge the chick for bringing up topics? About other dudes just to share. Avery. Nine one six. What's your name? What's your question? Uh, my name is Brian. Is and, that a Brian? Uh, hey, is that Brian with a Y question. or an I? Because I'm a Brian with a Y. Are you an I or a Y? Brian with Y. Okay. Okay. I'm a Brian with a Y. I'm Stephen <laughs> Brian. So yeah. So yes, I'm Brian with a Y. So what's going on, Brian? Um. So. I recently got divorced. Congratulations. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and so now uh, my brother, you know, needs a place to stay. And I'm kind of thinking that that could mess up my game a little bit, you know, no, wait, wait, whoa, back whoa. in the dating scene. Let me tell you something. I had to flip around. I had to move in. I, and this shit happened a few times. I moved in with my my cousin, and, and I had to lose. He kicked me out. Now he didn't kick me out. His girl kicked me out. I got kicked out twice by the women of the guys by moving in because I was bringing women over. So <laughs> your thing is this, my young Brian, with a with a Y, is that mm-hmm. it's your house. You just let them know. Look, if I got company, you put bring your get out and go out, go upstairs in your room or whatever like that. Mm-hmm. It's your house or your apartment. Right. So yeah, let let them let right. hey, and it's your brother. Hey, let them come in, and and just hey, look, pay your rent. Look, this is all you worry about. You pay your rent. That's it. You you pay your rent on time. Mm-hmm. You ain't living here for free. And we gotta have an we have to have an adult conversation. What is your exit plan and your strategy? When are you getting the fuck out? Right. Right. And after that, hey, look, I'm going to be fucking. I'm going to have women here walking around naked and shit like this. And listen, <laughs> if I'm doing some shit, you stay your ass in the room and you come and go. And that's it, man. The yeah. Card. yeah, you just set it up how you need to set it up. Just tell them, hey, listen, I'm going to be bringing women to the crib. Oh, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to text you and let you know. So when I'm bringing chicks over to the crib, make sure all of this shit is clean over here. And then that's that. Yeah, clean up after yourself. Do your dishes and shit like that and pay your rent. Okay. Yeah, I got a. I got one more question. Sure. Mm-hmm. Um, so I've been dating this this chick for a while, and um, haven't smashed yet. But, wait, wait, uh, wait, 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 know, wait, 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 wait. How long have you been dating her for? Two weeks. Wait, wait. So hold on. So how many dates you went on? Uh, 
about four. I, I live in Sacramento. So oh, Jesus. Oh. You went on four dates in two weeks? You went on four dates in two weeks. You're, you've been, you're, you're dating her. And, and what's your question? Um, so <sighs> I'm about to smash. About to. But, uh, yeah, but we're, we, she's been talking about potentially going on a trip. Wait, wait, like, wait, 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 wait. Wait, going on a trip with you or just she's going on a trip? She wants to plan on a, no, a trip. No, don't fuck her. She wants to go no, no trips, no wait, fuck wait. She wants to plan a trip with you? Yeah, yeah, she, she run a game on it. Yeah. Oh my God! Oh, wait, so wait, hold on. I gotta ask this. So she said she's gonna plan a trip and she's paying for everything, right? No, we would go fifty fifty. <laughs> oh, so what? <laughs> Dog, she run. Ladies, y'all, y'all ain't shit. That's it. Is what I tell the ladies. He's like, like, why are you using these guys? It's messed up. <laughs> so call her. Why haven't you smashed? Why haven't you smashed, dog? Uh, you know, she, you know, uh, to be got, honest, she has two kids and then, uh, Oh, what they got to do with anything. She got She got, she got a babysitters, her mom, her aunt, and uh, the daddy that can watch the kids. What's the excuse? Right. Uh, the biggest excuse is, you know, uh, I just haven't closed the deal. So wait, have you tried? Have you, have you said, Hey, come over and let's do this. Or have you tried to make it happen? Yeah, you know, uh, I work. I work a lot. You know, that's the thing. I'm a truck driver, wait, so wait, 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 wait. How much does it cost, and what colors do they come in? Because I want to buy the car a box. <laughs> How much do they cost? Box of no, not a box of condom. No, not a not a not a box of condom. No, I ain't even buy a condom. We're talking about a box of excuse fairy crunch. <laughs> and I want to know what, it, what color I can get. Can I get him the strawberry or the chocolate flavor? Because all I'm hearing from you is nothing but fucking excuses. So what box of excuse fairy crunch can I get him? Because that's all you're making. So, so wait, hold on. Let me ask you this. So, so uh, what did you say to her to let her know you want to fuck? Like, what? When did you have this con what, what conversation? She, she wants to fuck. She wants to fuck. She's always saying. Hey, I, I want to fuck you. But, you know, the biggest thing was, you know, getting our test results done and everything like that. So you, so wait, wait. So, so she wants to have sex, but you told her, wait until we go get tested. She's saying that to him. She said, wait till we, till we go get tested. Oh, so, 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 so she know, says, yeah. So, so she says yeah. she wants to go get tested first and then fuck. Yeah. Yes. the doctors i mean don't y'all get checkups and shit like that don't you like when you go to doc don't you don't, don't yeah. you go to, yeah don't, don't you go to doctors and get like checked up your physical and all that shit at least once a year yeah okay well okay so, so then so then so okay so now if so you're gonna wait to go get tested to fuck this girl uh, i think it's you know uh, I've been married for like, you know, what was it, seven years, so I didn't have to worry about none of that. So Ooh, now that I'm back on the dating, you know, it's like, yeah, I think it's uh, uh, a smart thing, you know. Wait, 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 see, wait, you see, wait. How, you see how women love to, see how women get y'all and manipulate y'all motherfuckers? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, hey, I really want to, but we should get tested first. So now, I gotta wait to get tested, then wait for the fucking uh results, and then through that time, let's go out on more dates. Let's go on a trip. Let's do all the other non-sexual things. And then when our tests come back negative, you're like, okay, cool, let's fuck. She's like, you know what? Actually, I think we should just be friends. I'm like, I I'm starting to feel like I don't feel that. I'm on my period. No, I'm on my period. Right. Yeah, I'm on my period. <laughs> Call her. Come on, fam. Come on, man. Come on. There's a thing called a condom. Yeah, tell me that shit. Section. You see what I'm saying? And 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 use yeah. that now. There are other STDs that you can get, but actually, this is what you should do. Go to is my dude. His name is Caleb Jones. He's on uh he's on YouTube. Type in Caleb Jones and type in uh STDs. He did a whole video 
on debunking all the fears that everyone has about STDs. So you should watch that entire video. Matter of fact, send that to the girl that you're talking to and tell her, hey, listen, check this video out, right? Because it's the thing. It's not wrong with getting tested and all that. But the thing is, you should not be going to get tested for pussy. You should be getting tested for your own health, not to try to fuck some woman. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, here's your you, you, you right. paper. Here's my paper. I'm, 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 I'm free of disease. Because she, because basically, what it is is that she's using that. Uh, she's using that sort of uh, rhetoric to buy more time so that you can do other shit. Because trust me, if if she met Morris Chestnut or fucking Chris Hemsworth and they was like, listen, I'm trying to fuck tonight. She'd be like, well, can you go get tested first? And then maybe we'll see. No, she ain't gonna do that shit. She gonna say, let's go to the party city, bring the hammer. <laughs> she gonna be like, strap that condom on and let's go. <laughs> see what I'm saying? So, uh, uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks, uh, all right, buddy. Yeah, hey, it's all good, man. All right, we'll throw you back in. All right, lines are open, guys. A few more questions. Guys, you got a question? Go ahead and ask. We're about to wrap this up. Uh, let me see if I can find one of these good questions here. Um, let's see. Oh, wait, this is, this is about the guy. Uh, um, should I charge a chick for bringing up topics while the dudes are just to share? After I've told her numerous times, I don't care to know about her past with other guys. Well, but caller, this is the thing you got to ask yourself. Uh, if you're the one who directs conversation, then why are y'all getting into these conversations? That just means you're not directing the conversation. So she's she's the one taking the reins and directing the conversation, which is why y'all are talking about this topic. So if you know how to direct the conversation and and move the conversation in the direction you want it to go in, then you wouldn't be talking about that. This is why y'all don't get pussy, dog. Read this shit here. Zeta. You punch a girl on the street and get the vibe and number. If the girl says, I'm not looking for anything right now, but text me to your face, is that low interest slash she's interested? To me? What? I'm confused. I'm confused. Uh, we, hey, hey T Tristan, Tristan, get out the game. Hold up. Uh, call up. Yeah. Uh, is it true if guys told you you look good, that mean you're attractive to women? Wait, 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 wait. What? Shook, shook. Yes. Yes. Shook. Are you are you telling me that when you go in your little slumber parties with your butt buddy friends and y'all are laying up next to each other snuggling, do, do, do they do they rub the side of your face when they tell you how good you look? What do they do, Shook? This is weird. <laughs> Yo, what is wrong with y'all motherfuckers? Who who <laughs> who hangs out with other men that say, hey John, you, you look good, know, buddy. You look good today. <laughs> and then you're asking, then you're asking that means you're attracted to women? Wait, wait, wait. You're telling me, and then you this to a you. Guys, come on. Y'all can't be this naive, man. You're telling me a YouTuber said that that your if your if your guy friends tell you you look good, then you look good to a woman. <laughs> you know what they're gonna say next? It's gonna be like, well, if you're if is it true that if if a guy sucks your dick, right, right. That, means that women want to suck your dick too. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's what's gonna be. Uh, I, <laughs> they're gonna be like, if your guy friends don't want to suck your dick, you're not gonna get any pussy. You understand what I'm saying? Yo, yo. You, guys gotta, you guys gotta talk to your friends and see if they want to suck your dick. And uh, if, if your friend doesn't want to suck your dick, that means you're not gonna get any pussy from women. It's like, what are you talking about here? And the fact that you would watch a YouTuber, a content creator, tell you that you need your butt buddy friends to tell you you look good. Man, I've ne man, I've never. I don't. I don't even know how to even answer that. I've never even. Uh, that's never. Uh, uh you, you know, uh, Garrett, I, 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 you see, I, truth, truth man in the chat at, at one oh eight your time. Truth, truth man. He's <laughs> you, know, you see this is. This man, is I'm, about, not, I'm about to truth man. No, uh, uh. No, fuck you, man. I don't know. You ain't talking about me. No, you gotta get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> I like women. Hey, 
I like women complimenting me, motherfucker. Don't you? The only only woman that can compliment me is my mother. <laughs> my mother can tell me how cute I am and all that shit. That, that that's it. But it, it, y'all y'all guys, no nah, man, no no motherfucking dude should be talking like that, man. <laughs> I don't want to hear that shit. Fuck. He said, have you, have you ever been in deep depression before? Uh, no. And and when I thought it was, I realized it wasn't once I was out of it. I just realized I was full of shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my, my, my deep depression was... Uh, the cop was uh, lost. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was... I, I be getting broke like a motherfucker with my Cowboys lose. That's the deepest depression I have. But uh, but I know what you're trying to say. Are you deep depressed because of a woman? Nah, motherfucker. I know you want to bring a woman in this shit. Let's see here. Uh... Let's see here. Uh, the more I look around, the more I know it's more of a lonely game when people can either come and go pretend to be something for a benefit. How do y'all cope with that fact? What? <laughs> what is he talking about? Well, listen, risk game. Uh, the, the thing you got to understand is that if you feel in that way, then you don't understand the game because you're, you're still worried about having people there. So that you can lean on them and cry on them and get comfort from the, those people. What is cope though? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait. He's like, how do you cope with the fact of being alone or being lonely? And it's like, bruh. <laughs> oh my God. I, I, I get, I don't know, man. I, I dog, I, I, I don't. Riz game, call up. Yeah, Riz game. Yeah, uh, last round of calls, guys. Y'all got a question call in. Y'all, are, man, this is y'all have kind of y'all. A lot of y'all dropped the ball today. Uh, a lot of y'all are 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 wondering why these women are the way they are. Let's see here. How do I show her my value is beyond money? She keeps telling me we should take a slow. Well, wait, no, wait, hey, hey, hey. D, D. Yeah. Damien needs some help for real. Man, you got to understand that she doesn't see you as a man. You have to understand that she wants to take it slow because you know what? When she talks to you, her pussy is not getting wet. Like when you talk to her and you hear this <laughs> and, a, and like a tumbleweed is like rolling past and shit. That's you, dog. You're not making her wet. You're not turning her on. Mm -hmm. That's why she's talking about she want to take it slow because she don't want to fuck you, bro. She don't want to fuck you, dog. She <laughs> wants to take it. Hey, we're talking like not, not even turtle slow. We're talking snail slow. <laughs> we're talking snail. Dog, it's you. You're the problem. <laughs> Y'all guys going to blame women for this shit. It's you, dog. It's you. They even about to go red pill. Yeah, yeah, he about to go red pill like a motherfucker. Get mad. Let me let's grab one more video then before we wrap this up. Uh, let's see here. Which one can we grab here? Uh, let's see. For a masculine man or a submissive man? I need a guy who's like in tune with his emotions, like okay. an emotional side, but we do love a masculine man. So you said you want a man who's in touch with his emotional side. Do you think it's an attractive thing if a guy were to go up to you, your boyfriend, and were like cry to you? Oh, yes. 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 We love Immediate. a man with emotions. What? Yes. Niagara Falls. Yes. Because there's like little boys out here who don't want to talk about how they're feeling. They yeah. want to be immature and go look other places. Like, no, we got to work it out. We love each other. Do you guys prefer y'all? Don't tell me that. Hey, don't tell me this. <laughs> I'm gonna call y'all bitches in the room, but hey, don't y'all be listening to them bitches. You <laughs> y'all better stop. Hey, stop listening to women and that crying shit. Look, guys, I probably look the moment a woman says it's okay to cry, mm -hmm. it's okay to talk to me, we're a team. Mm -hmm. Share and you can share your feelings with me. The moment you do that, guys, she gonna be like, "You bitch!" Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> then you gonna be mad at her. You be mad. Yo, <laughs> yo, wow, bro! I'm telling you, man, you gotta, you gotta stop. This way, I gotta learn game, man. Because y'all don't, don't learn game, you're gonna be confused out here, heavy. Like she told me that she, you know, that she cared and she wanted this. I read her profile, and she said she wanted a sensitive guy. Right. And 
when I told her when my turtle died and I started crying, I didn't hear from her again. <laughs> hey, 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 guys, they got two shoulders to cry on or they got two legs that can spread up. <laughs> right, exactly. Hey, guys, what two do you want? Do you want the shoulders? Or do you want the legs? I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a live stream where I'm crying on uh, April's shoulder and be like, April, I got some issues. Hey, hey, <laughs> where the fuck April go? Where April go? She's gonna disappear. She's gonna just like <laughs> April, April, April gonna send me a message. Hey Steve, can you take that uh rap in my name out of that shit? <laughs> right. She be like, I'm gone. <laughs> I'm, I'm out this bitch. April's just gonna disappear like that meme where the guy is leaning on her shoulder and shit. <laughs> Hey, the car didn't have another event. Like, hey, hey, hey where, where, where April at? Oh, well, well, you see, uh, uh, well, I mean, you know, I mean, you know how it is and everything, man. Nah, man, don't y'all motherfucking cry on shoulders. Don't do that. Fuck no. Hey, guys, if you want to cry, listen. Get in your fucking shitty car and drive to the middle of nowhere and cry your fucking cry as much as you want. Wipe your fucking tears. <laughs> Wipe your bitch ass tears and get back into the game. Right. Damn it. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Yo. God. Uh, uh, that's funny. Yeah, man. So, uh, yeah. So, we're about to wrap this up, guys. Lucario, as always, has been great. Glad you ain't crying <laughs> on April shoulder and shit. <laughs> We're still being a ray. When we know you're going, April, we know. Hey, April. We know. We know why. Is <laughs> it like because I was crying? <laughs> we know what the fuck happened and shit. Fuck. Well, well, April, I, April, I just want to talk to you. I just, you know, we've been together so long. April, I just, you know, April, I just love you. April, where you going? Why are you, why are you walking out the door? She was like, "Fuck that." <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the first time she used the N words. That this <laughs> She's gonna be like this. She'll be like this. Get out of here, you damn nigga! She's gonna take her hair, and put that shit up in the ball and shit. And you're like, she'll grab a great, 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 great press, Lucario. She'll grab the car by his shirt, twist it. And go in his face and say, Get out of here, you damn nigga! <laughs> walk the fuck off. And that will be the end of the April. Right. <laughs> man, man. I'm tell y'all, don't, don't listen to these ladies when they tell you that shit. Yeah, don't. Don't do it. Do not do it. Fuck that. That's the trick. That's the trap. Tell me how you feel. You can cry. It's okay. Here's my shoulder. Don't do it, guys. <laughs> All right, man. We out this week. Yeah, yeah. Later. Later. Hey, hey, yes, no, I ain't going nowhere because this motherfucker better not be fucking crying and shit. <laughs> I'll give him something to cry about and shit. I'm going to cry to Steve first. I'm going to call him first. <laughs> then, they, then yeah, yo, man, where's Steve at? Where's Steve at? Where's Steve at? Where's Steve at? Steve, where's the car? I'm, 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 shit, man. I don't know, man. That motherfucker. That motherfucker I don't know. Uh, he said he was going somewhere, going, going right. talk to him or something. I didn't see him and shit. We right. got push for the <laughs> Fuck that shit. All right, man. We out All this right, bitch, man. Peace, y'all.